Hi everyone, am I audible? Hello? Hi everyone, am I audible to you all? Hi everyone, good evening. Welcome to Anacademy Neat English. I'm your biology educator Ambika Sharma. First of all, let me know in the chat section, am I audible and visible to you all? Yes, am I audible and visible to you all? Good evening, good evening. Welcome to the class. Welcome to another important session where we are going to finish reproductive health in one shot. Yes, and today the session is for three hours. Okay, right. This chapter is not so lengthy, so we will finish it quickly. What's it? So everyone, welcome to the class. So quickly hit the like button and share the session link with your friends and let them know that I have started the class and now they have to be the part of this lecture. Good evening. Welcome to the class. So, so here you guys can see. So, uh, it's day twelve, right? It's day 12, so whatever we have promised in Game of Meat that uh, every day you are going to get the classes and there will be the long marathon sessions, the quality content will be provided to you. So we are keeping that promises, right? Isn't it? Isn't it? We are keeping that promises. So, so after this reproductive health, I will be starting Bache Evolution because I know you people are so desperate to complete genetics and evolution, isn't it? Isn't it? You people are so, so, so desperate. You really want to finish genetics and evolution, right, with a proper revision. So here you guys can see. So day 15th will be evolution and parallelly on day 14th, uh, your Pankhudi ma'am will teach you anatomy of flowering plants. Okay. Yes. So I just know, I think that is Tamil, right? Ippidi uh, irukenga means how are you? That is what I have learned. That is what I have learned. So today, very less number of students are there. So quickly share the session link with others as well so that they can join the class students. And, and, and you all, please be active. Today, we will finish this chapter ASAP. Okay. Take care. What is that 100 days, ma'am? Are you will get to know about it soon. Okay. And see here, you guys can see. Just have a look. That's my profile. This is what you have to do. Search Ambika Sharma Unacademy. Okay. You will get my profile. Follow that profile. Follow that profile. So right after the class, like today we will finish reproductive health. So tomorrow is Sunday and uh, you people are also having your test. That's why I'm not keeping my session tomorrow at 11 a.m. But Monday morning at 11 a.m. there will be the practice session, right? We will be practicing reproductive health last 10 years PYQs. So you have have to be the part of this class okay you have to be the part of this class moreover bachi yes okay oh, oh i need to change the date here so even 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 i have planned the revision classes for the class 11th as well okay so on unacademy platform what i will do i will start your class 11th revision so the uh, most demanding unit is your cell unit so here you can see the first class the cell basic unit of life i will start it on monday at 1 pm so i need your two slots so yes i will be needing your your two slots okay so monday 11 a.m for reproductive health revision and monday 1 p.m right where we will be starting cell revision what's it done okay is that fine is that okay done so can we start the class now so if you're new to our channel quickly subscribe our channel and hit the like button guys hit the like button all right wazim sir he will come to disturb us don't worry about him why are you even asking about him? He'll come. He'll definitely come and he will start his jig, 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 jig. And he'll be like, Chi, you're teaching this. You're teaching that. Acha, acha, he's still, acha. Aagya bhai. Uh, so, hi, Vazim sir. How are you? So, you, do, you don't have anything na, to do. You're so free today. You do not have even class. Anna, you don't even have class in uh, Neat Avengers batch. You don't ha even have class in your uh, JE batch. You're still here. You are Pandu. If I am Pandu, your uncle. Your uncle. Tall, lean uncle having a, you know, having a, having what? That, 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 that. Chutku sa pet. 
अरे यार केरला इज अ ब्यूटिफुल प्लेस केरला इज लिटरली अ ब्यूटिफुल प्लेस दैट्स वाई आई वॉज देयर and because of uh, my marriage obviously you know that that's very hectic so i thought i need a trip that's why so was him say you don't have anything else to ah do you uh, yeah obviously i like kerala that's a beautiful place and even you should visit too i don't know the exact pronunciation but i like the thikri thikri that's thikri i guess ah uh, he's uncle then so we, we me and wasim we both are aunty uncle okay like he he has nothing to do so see today what this is what i'm going to teach reproductive health and that's a very important chapter that's literally a very important chapter and a very simple chapter as well ha <laughs> ah, his belly is having you know the, the <laughs> like he's lean overall he's lean but still he's having a pouch like structure here <laughs> like a marsupial that's what i can say that's what i can say after seeing the slide i'm leaving the chat very good <laughs> he's just having a pouch like structure so he's a marsupial he, he's a marsupial and uh, and you know what is the best part he cannot understand our joke he literally cannot understand our joke he'll be like acha marsupial what is that <laughs> that's the best part chalo so guys you know na we are coming to chennai as well we are coming to chennai as well so we all are going to meet we are meet going to meet on 23rd of december right and i we want more and more people to come there so if you have filled the form that's fine otherwise please fill it soon okay please fill it soon okay so now let's start the class so the chapter is reproductive health and as i said see okay chalo so let's start the class so the chapter is reproductive health and to stop chatting with wasim sir he is free okay he wants you people to score very good marks in chemistry but when it comes to biology he doesn't want you people to score good marks so you better focus here leave him okay and hit the like button guys and you have to stay with me till 8 pm now come to this part reproductive health see bachche from this chapter the one question will definitely come from contraceptive methods okay that's something very important definitely one question will come from contraceptive method another important topic is stis sexually transmitted infections also known as venereal diseases the third thing is art what is art assisted reproductive technologies one question will come from this part and the another important topic is mtp that is medical termination of pregnancy okay these are the four most important topic uh, most important topics of this particular chapter and yes all of them are equally important and all of them are very simple now because from our class 12 syllabus three chapters are deleted you know that and uh, overall six chapters are deleted isn't it isn't it overall six chapters are deleted and from your class 12 syllabus three chapters are deleted so there are chances that from other chapters the number of question they will increase clear bachche number of questions they will increase so reproduction this entire unit is very important right this entire unit is very important clear bachche clear bachche so contraceptive methods stis art and mtp if you are talking about infertility topic bachche that 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 will be covered here okay that will be covered here so don't worry about that and today to the point we are going to discuss bachche and it will be as per ncert and i will share many interesting things with you people okay so the first thing that we need to know is that what exactly is the reproductive health right in general when we discuss the chapter human health and disease okay when we talk about the health right whenever we use the word health so you know that what is the meaning of health health means complete well being isn't it isn't it leharika krishna sensei yes bachche i know hindi need preparation right so when we use the word health health include it includes complete well being right we consider the physical health the social health the mental health the emotional health isn't it and i always emphasize one thing that is our mental health that is the most important thing if mentally we are fit we can deal with any situation are you aligned people tell me are you aligned 
and still the number of likes they are very less so quickly increase the number of like as well i think volume is perfectly fine bache volume is fine okay volume is fine exactly so the word health means the complete well being okay complete well being the social health mental health physical health right bachche emotional health behavioral health everything should be fine so the same way as i always used to say that our mental health is very important same way the reproductive health is very important and when you use the word reproductive health you are talking about your reproductive organs we are talking about all the reproduction related aspects okay okay so here it includes you guys can see here according to who that is your word health organization reproductive health means a total well being in all aspects of reproduction that is physical emotional behavioral and social aspects isn't it so the society with people having physically and functionally normal reproductive organs and normal emotional and behavioral interactions among them in all sex related aspect it all comes under the healthy reproductive society okay okay so all the aspects all the aspects means everything related to the reproductive organ so it includes the proper hygiene of reproductive organ right you know that reproduction is something very important if we want to continue the race okay so the, in the reproduction there is an involvement of two partners you know that right bachche and then you know that when after reproduction you know that process right that gives up go gametogenesis insemination will be there fertilization will be there right for the development everything will be there so that process needs to be proper even after the child birth the maternal health is very important that infant's health is very important the two people that are involved in this process right emotionally are they available or not so everything related to that even even if there is you know uh, sex related issues are there sex related crime sex abuse anything any such issues they will be taken care under this reproductive health and moreover right we will be talking about reproduction uh, repro uh, rch right reproductive and child health health care program there also we will discuss all that things right there also we are going to discuss all that things so this is important the pdf will be provided to you in an academy neat english group right bache in our official telegram group that is an academy neat english so what you have to do you just need to listen to me carefully okay now reproductive health problems and strategies that's what we need to discuss that what comes under that so everything is as per ncert so listen to me very carefully especially see this chapter many times in schools right teachers they miss this chapter not today but earlier uh, you know they do not discuss this chapter in detail but bachche this chapter is not just important for the neat examination but it is important for you people as well you need to know you learn many things about human body okay okay and in this you are in a age right this is a age this is a very crucial age you are not even the adult you're not even a child okay right this adolescence age you're not even a you you are not even an adult you are not even a child so in this age you are very much curious about your body you want to explore your sexuality so there are many things you know that bother you sometimes you fall for wrong sources right you started believing in certain myths okay and because of that because of that you know uh, you st uh, you fall for different things okay and in this age it is very common if you will check that data in this age it's very common that young girls right those who are not even adult they are getting pregnant and they are going for illegal abortion so all that problems are there so when you read such things properly right from a proper source you get to know many things you know how to communicate it with other people so take this chapter in this way now come to this part which is reproductive health problems and strategies so first of all bachche india india was amongst the first country in the world that initiated action plans and programs at a national level to attain total reproductive health as a social goal yes it's right so you have to remember the year question can come from this part please mark this bachche here we are talking about this so india is the first country which started the family planning program and it was initiated in 1951 so mcq can come from this part direct right right so don't mind me saying that but yeah india is the first country that initiated the family planning program in 1951 but still our population right if you talk about the population india is having the india is the country where population is maximum right more than china even do you know that prashu 
more than China even. But India has started. India has started the family planning program for the first time in 1951. Okay. Okay. And in 1977. Yes, you can write it here. So, in 1977, right, this family planning program, its name was changed and now it is RCH, that is your reproductive and child health care program. So, that is important. Okay, the question can come from this part. Understood? The question can come from this part. Understood? Right. So, now let's, <coughs> sorry, let's start the next part. So, here you can see that so when you talk about rch what is the agenda there what are the main aims there if in a simple way i have to explain so reproductive and child health care program it takes care of maternal health infants health even adolescent health the nutrition right nutrition so basically basically it involves the total well-being of that mother right even before the childbirth after the childbirth it also includes teaching couples that uh, all the reproduction related aspects as well okay but all the reproduction related aspects as well and here you can see the main agenda is to create awareness among people about various reproduction related aspects okay as per this rch what is the main agenda priya bache to create awareness among people about various reproduction related aspects so here you can see how can it be done with the help of audio visual and print media government governmental and non governmental agencies like ngos okay non governmental uh, non government organizations which aware people you might have seen the slogans the ads right especially in the village area you might have seen the posters just say gram panchayat right they used to do so they aware people about it right you might have heard hum do hamare do in hindi right you know about that hum do hamare do in hindi okay son or daughters two will do something like that you might have heard about it right so so these are what these are these are to aware people right even on tv on you know, television you used to see the ads there are posters these days even on radios right even on social media we too are too yes right so all that comes under this awareness program so audio visuals print media governmental and non-governmental agencies they are taking various steps to aware people about the reproduction related aspects so one of them is introduction of sex education in schools yes in schools sex related education should be provided right you know that that's the perfect age when you know students they are attaining puberty they are curious about their body they don't know how to handle that emotions they don't know how to deal with that hormonal changes at that time the introduction of sex education in schools can help that students isn't it sometimes students they are not uh, they are not so they, they, are, they are not so comfortable uh, with their parents to talk about such things they can talk to their teachers okay and if they are studying it properly obviously they will have the proper idea of it right bachi and then proper information about reproductive organs the adolescents and related changes the safe and hygienic sexual practices sexually transmitted disease aids etc would help people those in adolescent age group to lead to a reproductive healthy life because overall if a society is reproductively healthy right that is also progressive isn't it yes ramu priya oxytocin larica isn't it right so educating people especially the fertile couples and those in marriageable age group about see that is also the agenda of that rch right to educate people those who are in marriageable age those who are in that reproductive age those who are reproducing about what about the birth control options means about the contraceptive methods that is important right you might have seen that in the i don't know you whether you have seen it or not but i think we know it right it's something uh, related to our general knowledge that in hospitals in government hospitals free of cost right condoms they are distributed okay so so there also the staff they help the people those who are newly married or those who are in this marriageable age about all these aspects so here the first thing is birth control options care of pregnant mothers 
postnatal means after childbirth care of mother and child and importance of breastfeeding to that mother and equal opportunities for the male and the female child so all that things right it all that things they are done by rch reproductive and child health care society understood bachche so awareness of problems due to uncontrolled population growth social evils like sex abuse sex related crimes right everything comes under that rch got it got it now the next part successful implementation of various action plans like strong infrastructural facilities professional expertise material support should be provided isn't it should be provided right bachche okay understood so these are essential to provide medical assistance and care to people in reproduction related problems like pregnancy delivery sexually transmitted infections abortions contraception menstrual problems infertility extra right so to deal with all that problems proper infrastructure is required professional expertise they are required and material support is required okay done so it's purely your ncert so when we read about this right when we uh, read the starting paragraphs right the starting pages of this chapter from ncert that's what we study and then we talk about the techniques you know which help to your even uh, you know to stop the unwanted pregnancy the techniques that even help that if uh, you know that uh, pregnancy is not proper if that baby which is growing uh, within the mother's uterus if that baby is not fine how to how to take care of such situations as well so one very important thing that we study initially in that uh, ncrt is your amniocentesis and about the saheli so saheli part we will discuss under the topic contraceptive devices but amniocentesis we will discuss here so individually bachche this topic is very important mcq can come from this part so this is important okay this is important so yes in the final paper question can come about family planning program that is in 1951 so everyone quickly in the chat section right write down the year when the family planning program when did the family planning program start in uh, india quick this is important family planning program and that program was renamed to and that program was renamed to guys energy should be more see the chapter is not so lengthy right and i know you consider that this is a very easy chapter right you can do it by your own but no let's discuss it let's finish it right let's make the final notes and uh, after that you will you will only revise it at the time of need examination so do it quickly rch it was renamed as rch so it was renamed as rch in 1977 okay so what is the full form of rch it is the reproductive and child health care program okay it is reproductive and child health care program so what that rch is going to take care it is going to take care of all the reproduction related uh, uh, reproduction related things even the sexual crime sexual abuse everything will come under rch okay done bachche so now the next topic that we are going to start is amniocentesis do you know what is amniocentesis yes do you know what is amniocentesis see very simple it is bachche when we talk about the embryonic development okay in the case of humans when we discuss what when we discuss embryonic development yes when we discuss embryonic development so you know that we know that that we all are developed from a single cell that is zygote so zygote will undergo cleavage right the single cell will become multicellular structure further further there will be the growth there will be the growth finally you know that the germ layers form right right even the germ layers form like your ectoderm mesoderm endoderm but that's not it these germ layers are known as embryonic layers but you know that even extra embryonic membranes are also there isn't it during embryonic development we also talk about the extra embryonic membranes yes or no we also discuss what we discuss extra embryonic membranes so when we discuss extra embryonic membranes we have amnion okay we have chorion we have allantois yes students and we have yolk sac isn't it so here this extra embryonic membrane amnion it used to form the amniotic cavity i hope you remember that part 
right i hope you remember that part that this amnion it used to form the amniotic cavity right it lines the amniotic cavity and here that fetus used to grow and you know that in this amniotic cavity we have the amniotic fluid here which fluid do we have the amniotic fluid here right bachche so it is acting like a shock absorbent right the baby is going to pass the waste material also here in this amniotic fluid right so it is protecting that baby isn't it isn't it so basically this amnion used to form what amniotic cavity this amniotic cavity is lined with what amniogenic cells and here you have the amniotic fluid so basically when you are talking about the amniocentesis it is somewhere related to this amniotic sac it is somewhere related to this amniotic fluid right you can see this diagram you can see this diagram very clearly so see in the uterus that baby is developing that baby is growing in the uterus within the uterus that baby is growing right that is present in that amniotic sac so what will be done in amnio uh, synthesis bachche the experts they are going to take the amniotic fluid and they are going to do it very carefully right it's not a very it is not something very easy no the uh, proper expertise are required to do that okay so amniocentesis it is a technique by which we can check A genetic disorder if any of the fetus but this technique is not used to determine the sex of the fetus what is amniocentesis amniocentesis is a technique bachche by which what can be done yes everyone by which what can be done it is a technique by which we can check the genetic disorder if any of the fetus but it is not to determine the sex of the fetus so professional so here you can see ultrasound transducer so what will they do right they are going to take the very carefully they are going to take the amniotic fluid right why because here in this amniotic fluid see bachche baby is growing there so obviously some cells of skin they will also shed off there no so basically when this fluid will be taken when this fluid will be started it is having certain cells of that baby right and from that cells that chromosomes will be started what will be done bachche the chromosomes of that baby they will be started so basically karyotyping will be done what will be done yes bachche fish see what will be done the karyotyping will be done right that proper representation of chromosomes will be made why because because this technique is used to check the genetic disorder so bachche when this process be done at that time obviously we'll get to know whether it is xx or it is xy isn't it yes or no yes or no it will be done na so basically when amniotic fluid will be taken when that cells right in that amniotic fluid definitely some cells will be there when that cells will be studied when their karyotyping will be done when we will study that chromosome so obviously we will see whether it is xx or xy right whether it is xx or xy isn't it isn't it so if it is xx means female if it is xy means male okay so no doubt with the help of this technique gender can be checked right gender can be checked but this is not the main purpose of this technique that's why statutory ban on amniocentesis for sex determination to legally check increasing menance of female feticide that's why it is there is a ban on it right it is not to use it is not to use to check the sex of the fetus but it is used to check the genetic disorder if any of the fetus got it yes bachche right that is the amniocentesis so here you can see this procedure it is usually done at 12 to 8 weeks of gestation that's important please note down okay even that is important so it is not to use to check the sex of the fetus but it is used to check the genetic disorder if any of the fetus so if there is genetic disorder right if something which is not curable if it is genetic obviously it will not be curable if it is not manageable then female it's the wish of that uh, parent to go for the abortion or not okay got it so it is performed it is done at 12 to 80 18 weeks of the gestation period so here you can see in amniocentesis bachche some of the amniotic fluid of developing fetus is taken right right so this procedure is used to test for the presence of genetic disorder so here you can see the list of the genetic disorder so mcq can come from this part as well it is important okay so mcq can come from this part as well so down syndrome hemophilia sickel cell anemia etc right they can be checked with the help of this disease got it got it sure 
okay so it is important it is important so down syndrome is what is it down syndrome is what is it what type of disorder it is anyone in the class and guys why the number of likes are less why number of likes are less we have more students and comparatively likes are very less quick do hit the like button and if you are new to our channel you know what you have to do just subscribe to our channel okay just subscribe to our channel what is this down syndrome very good so it is a chromosomal disorder it is basically trisomy 21 when there is the extra copy of the chromosome number 21 then it is the down syndrome right then it is the down syndrome so it is basically a new ploidy what is it it is basically a new ploidy where there is the addition or the deletion of the chromosome where there is the addition or deletion of the chromosome got it yes bache so aneuploidy is the example of aneuploidy is the example of trisomy means there is an additional copy of one chromosome so if it is trisomy 21 means we have one additional copy of chromosome number 21 so usually there is a pair of chromosomes na chromosome na but here we have one extra chromosome chromosome number 21 there are three chromosomes clear okay what about hemophilia what about hemophilia yes what about this hemophilia you know na anyone so hemophilia it's very common in males it is the bleeders disease okay it is the bleeders disease so it is x linked recessive disorder please note down in, in your ncrt as well it is x linked recessive disorder means that faulty gene is present on the x chromosome okay so males are affected with it and females are the carriers only females are the carriers only got it and then sequel cell anemia it is as per mendelian inheritance so what is the sequel cell anemia it is autosomal recessive disorder isn't it what is it it is autosomal recessive disorder so in sequel cell anemia rbc is having the sequel shape can you tell me why can you tell me why because we know that when it is the sequel cell anemia it is because of the point mutation right it is because of the point mutation so in beta chain of hemoglobin in beta chain of hemoglobin at sixth position beta chain means beta polypeptide chain so at sixth position but glutamic acid is replaced by valine okay glutamic acid is replaced by valine right so it is mendelian disorder that can also be asked so these are the chromosomal disorders that is the mendelian disorder even this question can also be asked in the paper so you should know what is amniocentesis you should know when is it performed what is the main purpose of this amniocentesis clear bache so it is mainly to detect the genetic disorders clear 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 done okay so if up to this part everything is clear so i want to see some energy in the chat section i want to see some fire emojis in the chat section yes bache quick everyone quick and please share the session link with your friends ask them to join the session it's one of the most important sessions bache reproductive uh, i think reproductive health is one of the easiest chapter of your class 12th biology quick very good very good and you have to keep yourself motivated you know that right it is just the day 12 of that game of neat we need to finish the syllabus we need to finish the entire syllabus quick 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 everyone some more energy so are you liking the sessions yes are you liking the session yes yesterday sorry tomorrow there is no class are you liking the session
seriously so guys if you want us to meet in person you know what you have to do we are coming to chennai the team avengers we all are coming to chennai and that's the date bachche so please fill up the form right which is there in the you can check the description box you are going to get the link as well you can see bachche meet india's top educators at india's biggest educational event right that will be there in the chennai on 23rd of december so we want to see maximum people there so kindly come to that right kindly come to that event if you are living nearby right you can come with your relatives you can come with your friends you can come with your parents as well and trust me you are going to get gifts right you will have interaction with us whatever you are going to ask we are going to answer there uh, there will be the social uh, there will be the influencers also there will be the uh, neat toppers also right you can interact with them too so that is going to be something very 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 big so fill up the form fill up the form guys quick done fill up the form okay so now let's come back to the topic okay so this is the amnio synthesis okay so here you can see this is the ultrasound probe that will be checked uh, you know that it will be done very carefully okay otherwise it can also harm that baby okay so the amniotic fluid will be taken so here you can see a very thin needle you can see the placenta you can see the amniotic fluid can you tell me what is it yes students can you tell me what is it tell me acha tomorrow there is acha there is wazim sir's class okay i was not aware of it i thought he is taking class on monday okay 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 ha ah, he is going to disturb you on sunday that's fine you love chemistry gc what is it it is umbilical cord very good exactly it is umbilical cord good 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 chalo let's go so the next next thing better awareness about okay so that's it that's all so this is about the rch their goals also right and uh, uh, the amnio synthesis and here you can see right better awareness about sex related matters increased number of medically assisted deliveries that's the agenda there and better postnatal care leading to decreased maternal and infant mortality rates right so increase number of couples with small families so it is it is what right so now this part is done i told you that what what will be there right when we discuss the uh, reproductive healthy society so after that we need to aware people we need to aware people about the small families okay we need to tell them about the population explosion right see you know that already right we are leading here literally we are leading here you know na india we have beaten uh, Ch uh, china for that right we have the maximum population in the world okay so i'll uh, we will discuss about it so when it comes to the reproductive re healthy society when it comes to the reproduction related aspects so here bachche it also includes the awareness N awareness related to not just related to the sex related issues but also the problems related to the increase in the population number if instead of having one baby or two children if more than that are there right four children five children like this so that can also be problematic right it is not just problem uh, problematic for that uh, word right uh, for uh, for that particular country no right even for that family also you know na more people so there let's say if someone is earning very good in that scenario it is manageable but let's say if a uh, if a if a family they are earning normal they they have the average earning and if they will be having only two children so in that case they can provide them the better life they can provide them the better education right population is growing that population growth is affecting the resources right it is resulting in poverty it is re re uh, resulting in even in unemployment as well so all that things all that aspects are also discussed here so there should be the better awareness about sex related matters increase number of medically assisted deliveries so that you know the mother, uh, maternal mortality rate and the infant mortality rate can be decreased and better postnatal care leading to decreased as i said maternal and infant mortality rates and moreover bachche there should be awareness right about the small families better detection and cure of stds overall increased medical facilities for all sex related problems should be there okay so that is all the part of reproductive related healthy society got it so now the next topic is population 
what exactly is this population right population stabilization and birth control this is what we are uh, going to study next okay what are we going to study next bachche population yes what are we going to study next population stabilization and the birth control got it got it got it got it tell me okay chaliye so when it comes to the reproductive health as i said there are problems there are strategies as well so population explosion is one of them do you know that population explosion over population right it is one of them bachche right why is it so first of all the first thing is what is population it's very important even it is there in ecology so first thing is what is population so population means total number of individuals of a particular species living in a right living in a particular area at that particular time what is population everyone focus here population means total number of individuals of a particular species living in a particular area at a particular time the most important keyword here is this right when you are talking about the population you are going to consider the individuals of same species what are you going to do you are going to consider the individual of same species that is something very important okay so if i am talking about the population growth population explosion as of now i am talking about what i am talking about the human population what am i discussing krishna here i am talking about the human population here right bachche so over population is a problem right you tell me quick you tell me what are the uh, what will be the problems if there uh, if there will be an increase in the population we are currently facing it basically yes we are facing it basically tell me quick tell me obviously unemployment poverty over consumption will be there no enough food resources very good lack of resources deforestation because we have to increase the area for living good food shortage will be there exactly no living space exactly you know you know all that things right bachche so that is also a problem faced by that uh, that also comes under the problem faced by that rch right over population and this is what we need to discuss now so you can note down bachche world population day is 11th of july you know what population is so so after if i talk about india after independence what happened bachche see before independence proper care to that uh, pregnant lady it was not provided right people used to provide it but uh, health facilities they were not better but after independence what happened bachche the health facilities they got better because of that proper assistance was provided to the pregnant lady even after the child birth right proper programs were there to aware people that how to take care of that uh, newborn baby right all that things were there right so that is why after independence there was an increase right right uh, there was a sharp you can say that exponential rise of population was there after independence so here you can see increased health facilities along with better living conditions they had an explosive impact on the growth of the population are you getting it so here we have the data as well you can see but this information is as per ncrt so question can come from this part okay this information is as per ncrt so definitely mcq can come from this part you please note down okay so this session is going to be very good for you for making the short notes as well so please do the needful so here you can see world population it was 2 billion that is 2000 million in 1900 then about it became about 6 billion by 2000 imagine then 7.2 billion in 2011 imagine just look at the data look at that look at that increase right so you can say that there is an exponential rise isn't it isn't it there is an exponential rise isn't it tell me quickly yes or no yes and you know that census census used to provide the information about the people living in a particular area at a particular time right so this calculation this data is as per that isn't it bachche this data is as per that okay so here you can see when you talk about the india in india 350 million at the time of our independence imagine 
350 million at the time of independence and then the billion mark by 2000 and it crossed 1.2 billion in May 2011. So you can see this increase and as per Bache, according to 2011 census report, the population growth rate was less than 2% that is 20 per thousand per year, a rate at which our population would increase rapidly. So yes, this information is also important okay so according to 2011 census report population growth rate was less than two percent okay a rate at which our population would increase rapidly and now in 2023 this is new information not given in ncrt but yeah it is important right just a minute let me set this mic okay so in 2023 india overtook china as the country with the largest population in the world imagine Imagine and with more than 1.43 billion people China now has the second largest population in the world with just above 1.4 billion inhabitants So China has controlled their population growth, but in our case it is simply rising and you know that it will result in more and more and more uh, Problems isn't it Bache? isn't it? Okay, so when you talk about this growth rate it depends upon what? according to you if I talk about this growth rate it depends upon anyone yes it depends upon it depends upon what can you tell me it depends upon what obviously two main factors are there one is food one is birth rate and another is the death rate right Anand what is it it one is the birth rate another is the death rate so both birth rate means we are talking about the natality and we are talking about the mortality so as i said after independence there is better facility right better health services so it has increased the birth rate natality is what natality is what what it is the birth rate and what is the mortality mortality means death rate so because of better resources there is a there is there is a decrease in maternal mortality rate as well and in the infant mortality rate and overall there is an increase in the birth rate of the infants done bache okay so birth rate is number of babies produced per thousand individual clear bache what is birth rate it is the number of babies produced per thousand individual and what is the mortality what is the death rate it is the death rate per thousand individual clear bache clear so that can death rate can increase because of uh, because of uh, what lack of resources if proper health facilities are not there proper hygiene is not there proper sanitation is not there if there is a spread of disease that can result in increase in the death rate so these two factors right but they decide the growth rate okay these two factors they decide the growth rate is that clear yes but is that clear so do you know what is the meaning of demography anyone in the class what is the meaning of demography anyone in the class I'll give you a chocolate if you will give me the correct answer I mean it I'll give you a chocolate if you will give me the correct answer what is demography tell me what is demography yes what is demography study of population very good it's very simple excellent just breathe very good afra so it is simple demography means study of population so when we study the population that is the demography so you should know these terms somewhere they are also useful in the ecology so up to this part any doubt yes up to this part any doubt so this is about the population growth right so you should remember this data it is given in ncrt and this is the new information you should know about it as well fine bache you should know about it as well so to overcome this population explosion what is advised right bache to motivate smaller families by using various contraceptive method one thing statutory raising of marriageable age of the female to 18 years and that of males to 21 years 
and incentives should be given to the couples having small families so these are few measures clear bachche these are few measures so main thing is what the contraceptive devices the contraceptive method it is our next topic right it is our next topic right bachche hi bachche vinod hi bachche somedeep obviously vinod i remember you people how can i forget you theek hai now so this is about the population growth clear bachche so uh, do you know one more thing that is malthus population growth curve do you know about malthus population growth curve yes anyone in the class malthus population growth curve chalo i'll relate it with evolution you know darwin i think you all know about darwin so darwin was influenced with the malthus work right darwin was actually influenced from from the uh, malthus work as per malthus population growth curve right the population is increasing geometrically right when you talk about the increase in the population so as per malthus population is growing geometrically like from 2 to 4 4 to 8 8 to 16 16 to 32 like this right that there is there is a geometric curl rise in the population growth but if you talk about the resources as per malthus if you talk about the resources they are not rising in a same way they are not rising in a same way it's arithmetic growth like 1 2 3 4 5 right means population is getting doubled as per this malthus population growth curve 2 to 4 4 to 8 8 to 16 16 to 32 like this but if you talk about the resources they are kind of same and resources are growing arithmetically 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 so as per malthus if there is you know if there is something which is reducing the population it can be anything it can be any catastrophic effect right as per malthus even if it is flood even if it is earthquake something which is reducing the population number that will be considered as the positive control right that will be considered as the positive check anything which is reducing the population number is considered as the positive check that can also include uh, include the catastrophic effect right the flood the earthquake but malthus was concerned about decrease in the population growth okay and darwin was quite influenced from his work fine bachche fine bachche chalo so now the next topic the important topic is the contraceptive method okay so bachche tell me what is the difference in between conception and contraception there are two words okay there are two words one is conception another is contraception can you tell me the difference in these two words see today there is nothing uh, see today what you have to do you just need to listen to me everything is given in ncert even i am sharing the information as per ncert okay whatever extra is there it is included in your uh, ppt and i will share the pdf right after the lecture in our official telegram group so don't worry about that you please listen to me carefully let's finish this chapter quickly what's it contraception is against conception obviously exactly in simple words if i talk about the conception means to get pregnant and if i talk about the contraception means they are birth control devices birth control method that how can we reduce the conception right exactly conception is pregnancy contraception means birth control methods so when you talk about the contraceptive methods they are the best approach right they are the best approach to reduce the to reduce the population to control the population i want say to reduce but to control the population growth so when you talk about the contraceptive methods bachche so ideal contraceptive is one which is user friendly it should not be fancy because you know that even if you talk about the people of india right they are you cannot say that that literacy rate is too much right there are many people who used to live in uh, villages right they are not so literate they don't know how to use such fancy things so that contraceptive device should not be something fancy that it took them you know so long to learn how to use that it should be simple it should be easily available it should be cheap it should not play it should not decrease their libido that is sex drive see this so ideal contraceptive should be user friendly it should be easily available it should be effective and reversible reversible so now what is the meaning here effective and reversible means bachche let's say there is a couple they do not want babies okay 
they do not want babies so at that time they are using the contraceptive methods but let's say in near future they feel like that they should have babies so obviously they they, they will stop using the contraceptive methods right so it should be something like that it is it should be reversible like if they are using something to prevent pregnancy so if in future they want right they want that baby so at that time it should be reversible okay and then with no or least side effects of course you cannot say that that contraceptive methods are not having side effects they do but that should be least okay that should be least and it shouldn't okay it also should be in no way interference interfere with the sexual drive so for sexual drive the word used is libido okay for sexual drive the word used is libido so it should not play or it should not interfere with the with their sexual desires and the sexual acts right that is considered as the ideal contraceptive method got it right now the next thing is so when you talk about these contraceptive methods right we have two things one is temporary methods okay another thing is permanent methods one is temporary method another thing is permanent methods these two things are there okay one is temporary another is permanent method okay so what if when you talk about the temporary method obviously for the time being a couple is using it okay so when they want they can reverse it but when you are talking about the permanent method here there will be the complete sterilization it will result in what it will result in sterilization okay permanent method means sterilization will be there okay so here the chances of reversibility they are very less they are very less you can say that 0 0.01 something like this so when it comes to the permanent method we have the surgical methods bache, where it includes vasectomy and cubectomy we will discuss it also and when you talk about the temporary methods so among temporary methods natural or traditional methods are there barrier methods are there intrauterine devices are there of course they are used by females then oral contraceptive pills are there and then implants and even injections are also there right implants hormonal injection there are many methods so these are the temporary methods and this surgical method is what it is the permanent method got it it is the permanent method now what's my point here but you see whenever you are talking about the contraceptive devices more devices are for females can you tell me why yes can you tell me why tell me more methods are for females can you tell me why more process occurred in female obviously see if i talk about the contraception if i talk about the contraception like two ways to avoid the pregnancy what what is there when you talk about the contraception what do we have see it's very simple first of all we can stop gamete and now we can stop gamete formation stop to stop fertilization right uh, even if fertilization is there to stop implantation and even if implantation is there abortion can also be induced isn't it isn't it yes or no so the first step is 
to stop gamete formation obviously this method is effective for males as well as female in the case of females also we can stop the gamete formation in the case of males also we can stop the gamete formation then to stop the fertilization to stop fertilization means we have to avoid the meeting of male and female gametes in that case also we can have the methods right the like let's say during sexual intercourse right the methods which we can use to stop the meeting of the gametes okay so here also it can be for both for males as well for the females as well then to stop the implantation again again it is for the females abortion again it is for the female so you know that mainly the the development of that zygote the development of that embryo is there in the female uterus okay so ultimately female body is going to carry the baby that is why bache more methods are there for the females clear more methods are there for the females so we have again quickly revise this yes but everyone quickly revise it definitely one or two questions will come from this part so we have natural methods barrier methods iud's oral contraceptive pills implants or you can say that chemical methods are also there clear bache so firstly let's start with the natural methods so natural methods they are also known as traditional method what are they they are also known as traditional methods okay so students do you know before the discovery of or before the usage of this condoms and all what females used to do to avoid the pregnancy right do you know about that history even a bit even a bit do you know about that history i'm not talking about the natural methods you know females used to uh, even like uh, i was studying it right females you know about acacia plant do you know about acacia plant i don't remember whether in uh, european countries or americans i don't remember exactly so what females used to do they used to take the acacia leaves acacia is a plant they used to take the acacia leaves they used to mix it with honey or with the dung right so they used to apply okay they used to apply to prevent the sperm meeting so they used to apply it to their vagina so that to avoid the sperm uh, meeting with the ovum right it is not and other than that there are you know uh, yeah uh, the cedar oil it was used as a spermicidal agent the cedar oil it was used as a spermicidal agent female used to apply it right so that you know the sperms can be destroyed and even if they got to know that they are pregnant because from their vaginal discharge right females used to judge that they are pregnant or not in that case they used to take the uh, fruits they used to take the food items that can you know induce the abortion and use the abortion so if you will study about it right uh, like it's something very interesting like uh, so there are many medicinal plants that can promote right it is advised na, not to take pap papaya during initial weeks of the pregnancy because it can also induce the abortion so there are many fruits there are many food that uh, many foods that can induce the uh, that can induce the abortion that can stop the implantation also so females used to take that to avoid the pregnancy so imagine acacia they are going to mix it with honey or they are going to mix it with the dung they used to uh, you know apply it on vagina so that they can avoid that gamete meeting and all imagine okay acha wazim sir op so again wazim sir op why bhai we are discussing something let's focus there and even if wazim will come to our lecture and now he will start doing chi chi what are you teaching yaar how can you teach us things hai na that's what he will start doing how can you teach us things publicly obviously that's important that's a part of their syllabus so females they used to do a lot to protect themselves because what was happening initially people they don't bother right even you know in uh, like uh, uh, after let's say if a female is getting pregnant every year every year it is going to harm her body as well so maternal right deaths maternal mortality rate it was too much it was too much and i'm just telling you about the few ways there are more than that right females used to apply different different oils that act as the spermicides that can avoid pregnancy yes sesam seeds are also there venkat is right right venkat is right okay chalo so now come to the natural methods or the traditional method so when you talk about the natural methods or the traditional method guys they are not 100% safe right it merely depends upon some calculation it is not 100% safe here you are going to talk about three methods periodic abstinence uh, abstinence coitus interruptus lactational amenorrhea question can come from any part clear bachche question can come on come from any part so the first thing that we are discussing is 
right the first thing that we are discussing is it is the natural method right what is it it is the natural method so natural method may we have the periodic abstinence coitus interruptus lactational amenorrhea so this periodic abstinence uh, abstinence it is also known as rhythm method yes but it is also known as rhythm method it is also known as safe period it is also known as safe period so first of all let's talk about this the safe period or the rhythm method see you know the menstrual cycle right on an average we consider that menstrual cycle is for 28 days on an average that's what we consider and we know that the day 14 14th day is of ovulation okay 14th day is of ovulation when that secondary oocyte in metaphase 2 arrest it will be released from the ovaries isn't it yes isn't it shri intellect niharika subhashini yes bachche that's the point na so 20 so menstrual cycle on an average it is for 28 days right and day 14th is of what day 14th is of ovulation it is of egg release when secondary oocyte will be released from the female ovaries now here in the safe period what females used to do they used to calculate their periods they used to calculate these days okay they used to do what they used to calculate these days so what are they going to do see what are they going to do see you know that on 14th day there will be the ovulation so no doubt in our books we used to write 14 days but we consider plus minus 2 days right what do we consider plus minus yes plus minus 2 days so now bachche the point here is right if female if she is aware of her menstrual cycle if she knows right how to calculate that so during you can say that on the day of ovulation or on the day of ovulation or a few days like you can say that plus minus plus minus 2 days she will during this period she will avoid the sexual intercourse okay during this period what will they do they will avoid the sexual intercourse so you can say that the day 10th to day 17th day 10th or day to day 17th right during this period they they avoid unprotected sexual intercourse right they avoid unprotected sexual intercourse why because during this period female is highly fertile female is highly fertile there are maximum chances that she will get pregnant okay bachche because during this time egg release is there okay okay so in the market i hope you all have seen that in the market there are many kits available right ovulation kits are there right females can check their day of ovulation they can count it if they want if they want to get pregnant okay so during this period they will avoid the sexual intercourse because there are high chances of them getting pregnant so this is considered as the non safe period and 7 days after menstrual cycle and 7 days before menstrual cycle it is considered as the safe period because they in this time period there is no chance of female to get pregnant okay because during this time if male will uh, if male will ejaculate its male gametes inside the female genital tract they were not going to find the ovum and after that the sperms will be destroyed so that is why it is considered as a safe period okay it is considered as what it is considered as a safe period so as i said these methods are not 100% uh, effective right because it merely depends upon the calculation so you can see the ncert language as well so couples they avoid or abstain from coitus from day 10 to day 17 mcq can come from this part right bachche so as chances of fertilization they are very high during this period okay so it is considered as the fertile period so by abstaining from coitus during this period conception could be prevented okay conception could be prevented now the next method is coitus interruptus so coitus means sexual intercourse that will be interruptus that will be interrupted so basically you know that right when you talk about the events of reproduction you know that you know that we talk about insemination right what do we discuss we discuss insemination what is insemination 
Insemination means transfer of male gametes inside the female genital tract transfer of male gamete inside the female genital tract so at this time right see if male without the release of male gametes without the release of semen means male without ejaculation just before the ejaculation male will withdraw his penis from the female genital tract that is the coitus interruptus so male partner withdraws his penis from the vagina just before ejaculation to avoid the insemination that is the withdrawal method exactly that is the withdrawal method and that is the that is the coitus interruptus then comes bache lactational amenorrhea that is lam lam right what is it it is the lactational amenorrhea that is the uh, lam just a minute so this period is the safe period you please note down i'll provide you the pdf as well so next is lactational amenorrhea now what is lactational amenorrhea but you know that lactation you know about the lactation right release of milk from the female mammary glands after the childbirth isn't it after the childbirth so you know that for lactation what is the story i hope you remember that prolactin prolactin which is released from anterior lobe of pituitary do you know about this hormone yes everyone do let me know in the chat section do you know about this hormone prolactin yes do you know about this hormone prolactin prolactin pro pro production production it helps in milk production this hormone is going to act on the mammary glands this hormone is act going to act on the alveoli so alveoli in response to that they will secrete the milk do you remember we have already discussed it in human reproduction so prolactin is the one which is going to uh, prolactin is the one which is going to act on mammary glands it is responsible for the secretion of milk from the alveoli and you know that samiksha there is another hormone that is oxytocin that is oxytocin which is known as milk ejection hormone or milk let down hormone right bache out o for out so milk will come out when baby will provide the suckling stimulus milk will come out from the from the nipples clear bache so basically when a female is lactating at that time these two hormones are there in the body these two hormones are playing their role right these two hormones are playing their role so when a female is heavily lactating right when a female is heavily lactating like we consider uh, like let, let's say after 6 months it till 6 months after the childbirth right so at that time at that time in the female body fsh and lh is not there what are fsh and lh follicle stimulating hormone luteinizing hormone what are they they are gonadotropins what are they they are gonadotropins so at that time in female body the gonadotropins are not there gonadotropins are less so no gonadotropin means no development of follicle means no development of female gamete so at that time if female is having the unprotected sexual intercourse there is no chance that pregnancy can occur right but still it is also not a safe method because it is not mandatory that all the females are heavily lactating and they are heavily lactating till right uh, even after the 6 months of their delivery right bachche so lactational amenorrhea that ovulation and therefore the cycle do not occur during the period of intex intense lactation following parturition so now you know the logic behind right now you know the hormones behind so this is about the natural method next again another example of temporary method right that is the barrier methods uh oh uh oh right next method is what it is the barrier method right so see name is explaining this name is itself explaining everything what are we discussing bachche we are going to discuss the we are going to discuss the barrier method right right so when you talk about the barrier method these are the mechanical devices these are the mechanical devices right bachche that are right that are going to prevent the deposition of sperms into the vagina and their passage into the uterus what are they they are the mechanical devices that are going to prevent the deposition of sperms in vagina and their passage to passage to uterus isn't it 
okay so basically they are the kind of barriers which will not let male and female gametes to meet okay okay so ovum and sperms are prevented physically with the help of these barriers so here we have different methods so in the case of males very common is the condom right female condoms are also available but in the case of but male condoms are more popular clear bachche male condoms are more popular so condoms so they are what what are condoms condoms are also the barriers see bachche look at this again ncrt so condoms are barriers made of made of thin rubber or the latex sheet you know that condoms right they are just like rubber so basically what will be done the condoms they will be applied to the male copulatory organ that is penis right what is penis penis is the male copulatory organ it is the male external genitalia so before sexual intercourse this condom is basically a thin sheet right thin rubber ya latex sheet that are used to cover the penis in the male or vagina and the cervix in the female so firstly let's talk about the male condoms as i said they are made up of thin rubber like sheet so just before the sexual intercourse right these condoms they will be used by uh, the condoms are used by male male is going to put the condom on the penis why because when, during the sexual intercourse when there will be the ejaculation of the semen the 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 semen will be accumulated here in the it will be deposited here in the condom it will not be released in the female genital tract clear bachche it will not be released in the female genital tract clear bachche so it is the most commonly used method right it is not going to play any role it is not going to interfere the sexual drive it is not going to interfere the libido and the best thing about this method is that it used to it it prevents the it prevents the stis right it prevents sexually transmitted infections like aids very important question okay that's another important mcq so it used to prevent what it used to prevent stis that is sexually transmitted infection aids got it niharika yes bachche so they are easily available right they are fulfilling all the conditions of that ideal contraceptive method so can you just tell me the conditions of ideal contraceptive methods yes can you just tell me the conditions of ideal contraceptive methods obviously easily available not so expensive easy to use it should not play any role with the libido least side effects user friendly exactly exactly all that points are there fine fine so even and what is the role of female condoms i'm writing it here bachche female condoms are known as femidomes they are known as what they are known as femidomes they are not so common so here they are going to cover vagina and cervix in the female okay they are going to cover vagina and cervix in the female so just before coitus so that ejaculated semen will be collected in the condom and here the ejaculated semen will also get collected in this female condom it will not further pass to the uterus got it bachche okay so sometimes female they are uh, allergic to this latex so in that case bachche some condoms are there which are made up of polyurethane polyurethane is also used to main, uh, to form the condoms right they are more expensive okay but in that case if any female is allergic to latex so male can use the condom made up of polyurethane so polyurethane is also used to make the condoms done bachche got it so this paragraph is as per ncrt so here you can see nirodh nirodh is a popular brand of condom for the male so use of condom has increased in recent year right because of its additional benefit of protecting the user from contraceptive from the contracting stis and aids that is important so yes condoms they do protect from sexually transmitted infections and aids you know na aids acquired immunodeficiency syndrome clear bachche so they are self inserted and after one use they are disposed next so this method is for the females only right so it include diaphragm cervical caps and wools right next method is for the females only so it includes diaphragm cervical cap and wools what is it diaphragm cervical caps and bolts bolts but ultimately they all are the sheaths or the structures made up of rubber 
ओके डायफ्रम सर्विकल कैप एंड वोल देयर मेन पर्पस इज अगेन टू प्रिवेंट द मीटिंग ऑफ स्पर्म एंड ओवम सो इफ यू विल सी इफ यू कैन सी दिस डायग्राम यू कैन सी हियर राइट फीमेल इज गोइंग टू इंसर्ट द right the diaphragm the cervical cap and bolt female is going to insert it in her vagina right so whenever there is the ejaculation the semen will not pass to the uterus if it is not there in uterus it will not pass to the fallopian tube right it will not pass to the fallopian tube got it can you see this can you see this so female is inserting it in uh, in her vagina right and when the semen will be released so further right the sperms will not pass further okay Okay, the sperms will not pass further. So diaphragm, it's a tubular rubber structure with a flexible metal or spring ring at the margin, right? At the margin, which will be fitted inside the vagina. Clear, bache? Clear, bache? So diaphragm, see, it's a rubber. It's a rubber like uh, it's a structure made up of rubber. It is having a ring. So basically, it will fix. right around that vagina now if it is a cervical cap it will cover cervix hai na cervical cap is going to cover the cervix isn't it isn't it and when you are talking about the vault it is hemispherical it is hemispherical dome like structure what is it it is hemispherical dome like structure okay it is hemispherical dome like स्ट्रक्चर अगेन इट इज ऑल्सो मेड अप ऑफ रबर सो इट इज गोइंग टू फिट ओवर द वेजाइनल वोल्ट ओवर द सर्विक्स क्लियर बच्चे इट विल फिट ओवर द वेजाइनल वोल्ट ओवर द सर्विक्स नाउ हियर देयर इज वन प्रॉब्लम डू यू नो दैट ऑल दीज मैथड्स दे आर री यूजेबल प्लीज नोट डाउन ऑल दीज मैथड ऑल दीज रबर शीट्स दे आर री यूजेबल डू यू नो दैट नो इट्स नॉट पेनफुल मतलब लाइक स्लाइटली पेनफुल इट कैन बी सोम्य दीप दैट्स वट आई कैन से ओके सो डायफ्रम सर्विकल कैप एंड वोल्ट एज आई सेड वॉट आर दे दे आर री यूजेबल राइट फीमेल आफ्टर द सेक्शुअल इंटरकोर्स फीमेल कैन टेक इट आउट शी कैन वॉश इट शी कैन कीप इट बट या इट इज एडवाइज दैट वन फीमेल शुड नॉट शेयर हर डायफ्रम विद अनादर फीमेल देन इट कैन रिजल्ट इन द इन्फेक्शन okay then it can result in the infection if she is sharing uh, her uh, you know these uh, diaphragm cervical cap and bolt with another female then it will be what then it will be dangerous it it can spread the infection one thing and moreover bache it is reusable right it is reusable so it's not like that that after once after uh, uh, after sexual intercourse it will be discarded no it will be reused so in that case it is not going to prevent the stis it is providing no protection against stis this is what you need to remember because they are reusable they are made up of rubber so yes there are chances of infection okay there are chances of infection ya bachcha jyoti if there is a question you are free to ask no it is not going to cause the injury but it's just that it is it is not going to protect from the stis okay it is not going to protect from the stis and they are also self inserted now one more thing is there bachche we also talk about certain chemicals right we will discuss it individually as well there are certain chemicals that kill sperms so if they are killing sperms obviously we will call them as spermicide agent right spermicides simply you can call them as spermicides means they are something which are going to destroy the sperm right spermicidal chemicals or spermicides what are they they are something that are going to destroy the sperms so these things these diaphragm cervical cap volt cap what is done in their case right if spermicidal agents if such creams if such jellies they are applied over the diaphragm cervical cap or volt in that case these uh, these barriers will be more effective because they will destroy that sperm right they are going to destroy the sperm right which how volts are used which volts are also fixed right they they are used to cover that vaginal openings or the cervical uh, uh, or the cervix okay so it is basically meant to to fit over the vaginal volt over the cervix right this volt cap is used to fit over the vaginal volt over the cervix fine so see so spermicidal creams means the creams that can destroy sperms the jellies and forms are usually used along with these barriers to increase their contraceptive efficiency okay hanji bachche tell me what's your doubt 
understood so next is the intra uterine device okay but before that let me tell you about the chemical methods okay let me tell you about the chemical methods first but say dr praveen kumar stop spamming and if you have a doubt you are free to ask please let me know what do you want to ask okay so chemical methods so bachche chemicals are used which are spermicidal agent or surface active agent so they are going to attack themselves to spermatozoa and inhibit their oxygen uptake and they will kill the sperm right see i told you that there are certain chemicals which will be applied over these diaphragm walls or the cervical caps and they can they can be more effective that's what i just said they can be more effective so what these spermicidal agents are going to do they are going to kill the sperm but how the point is how simple it is bachche right they will attach themselves to sperm and they will inhibit their oxygen uptake okay they will inhibit their oxygen uptake so various vaginal forms are there female can just apply that cream that form just before the sexual intercourse right bachche so chemicals can completely destroy the sperm so that's why we are calling them as spermicide okay that's why uh, uh, that's why these chemicals are known as spermy side got it that's why these chemicals they are known as what they are known as spermy side so if i give uh, yes so when it comes to the form it uh, we have one example that is delphin okay we have one example that is delphin it is the example of this vaginal form okay delphin is the example of this vaginal form and other than this delphin bachche yes other than this delphin there are other examples also jaise for jellies the example is uh, perceptin i told you na jellies are also there the example is perceptin these are the examples of these jellies so not going to come in the neat examination but it is just for your information okay it is just for your information and if you talk about these chemicals that what do they include do you know their chemical composition do you know what is there in these forms jellies or in these creams anyone what is there in these forms jellies and the creams so bachche basically they are going to have the acids like uh, they'll be having the boric acid even the citric acid right even the lactic acid even your zn zn so four right etc all these things right they are acting like a spermicide okay they are acting like a spermicide then bachche they can destroy the sperm fine so boric acid lactic acid citric acid zinc sulfate even kmno4 is there i remember yesterday in the session where we were talking about that na chennai event so hsp sir was asking about the color of kmno4 hai na i don't remember exactly i think it was the color of kmno4 the color of kmno4 right so these are the these are the chemicals which are present in such spermicides okay these are the chemicals which are present in such spermicide so vaginal form mein i gave you the example for the creams i gave you the example so that's it that's all so these chemicals they can be applied over these barriers also okay done right one more form is there sponge it is having non oxynol 9 it is also a spermicide that is just for your information okay jaise we have one more example of a vaginal form that is sponge it contains one chemical non oxynol 9 it is also a spermicide so i'm just giving you the examples of spermicides okay i'm just giving you the examples of spermicide got it chalo so the next part intra uterine devices definitely one question will come from this part it's very important right it's very important now students see listen to me listen to me i know you must be thinking that ma'am uh, we want break but i really don't think that we need the break today see this chapter is not so lengthy let's finish this part 
this contraceptive method immediately after that we will start infertility after finishing that infertility topic we will be starting the STI sexually transmitted infection I am going to share few extra points from that STI part but you know that even that topic is not so lengthy in detail about the symptoms and everything we will discuss in human health and disease but as of now you know that that topic is not so lengthy so I don't think we need a break we can finish our lecture before 8 today that's why I'm telling you that you have to be with me. I know your energy is getting low because from so long you are taking classes and tomorrow it's Sunday. So Sunday is having a different effect, right? Sunday is having a different effect. We don't feel like doing anything. Anna, Sunday is having a different effect. It's, a, it's something psychological. We don't want to do anything. We are like, Chalo, thikhe, yaar, leave the class. Even that Saturday is for me. Even that Sunday is for me. But still, bache, right? We are sincere. Whatever we have promised, we are keeping our words. Now, it's your turn, guys. It's your turn. Okay, be sincere. Be active. Right? We started the class today with very less number of students. I'm not happy with the strength. I'm not happy with the strength. Right? Each and every chapter is important for us. Okay? If you want to score 360 out of 360 in biology, you have to prioritize single, single chapter. You have to prioritize even a, even a single, single line from NCRT. You're not allowed to skip anything. Even as of now, if you're thinking that chapter is easy, we, I'll do it by my own, I will revise it later, it's not going to help. Because if today you are going to defer that work, trust me, tomorrow you're not going to get time to revise that chapter again. Okay, you are literally not going to get the time to revise that chapter again. Fine. Okay, you know it very well, right? We just have, right? If you see now you do not have time right i hope you all have seen my video that i have shared for the strategy to score 360 out of 360 right i have calculated the number of days there so even if you are wasting a single single day right see imagine when i shared that video uh, 140 days were left 140 days now it's i think now it's around i think around 135 or 36 i don't remember exactly right soon it will become 100 days for your neat examination then bache then bache imagine then 50 days for neat examination 10 days for neat examination 5 days for neat examination what are you going to do you are going to regret right then you will regret that why 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 i wasted my time right she was telling us ki bache you are not going to realize the time will pass like this literally it's going to pass like this right nothing is going to help you just say one student here is asking ma'am uh, have you seen an animal right yes but i am animal you are animal and we all belong to kingdom animalia yes i have seen many animals there there is a little animal who used to roam here and there in my home that's my sister that's my little sister right that's the animal i met every day so that's what i can say i don't think that this discussion is of any use or maybe right Yesterday we took a session, it was a fun session, we were chit chatting or everything was there. But today I don't think so. I literally don't think so. So see, Azmi is saying 140 days are left. Right, I am forgetting that part, 15 hours, 19 minutes. See? So guys, if you are actually sincere, if you really want to crack the neat examination, then these sessions are for you. Because teachers are equally motivated. If you, are, if you don't want to, see there are a lot of things. Even on YouTube that you can watch free of cost. Then why to watch my face for two hours or for three hours? No use. Hannah, no use. Ha, this is a one student is saying Dash is best. Okay, bhai, if it is best, then why are you spamming here? Go watch that platform. So guys be motivated yaar. be motivated and you have to motivate me yesterday's HSP sir was like teachers you students used to motivate teachers why motivate me I am getting demotivated yaar. motivate me ma'am when Jyoti is saying ma'am when you got married wow seriously yaar, sabko pata hai Jyoti. and seriously it is not going to come in neat examination trust me
है ना ट्रस्ट मी चलो ठीक है सो नाउ फायर इमोजी इमोजीज इन द चार्ट सेक्शन एंड देन आई एम गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक डेफिनेटली वन क्वेश्चन विल कम फ्रॉम दिस पार्ट देन आई एम गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू आई वॉन्ट टू सी मोर इमोजीज येस and hit the like and if you are new to our channel you know what you have to do subscribe to our channel and guys fill up that form right fill up that google form tell us about your details we are going to come uh, uh, we are going to meet you there in chennai okay we will share the venue also i f- i forgot the name literally i forgot the name we'll share the venue also chalo quickly fill up the google form fast good 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 chalo come to this point so now the next thing is intra uterine devices what is the next topic uh, intra uterine devices so you know that intra mane within uterine mane uterus so it is something which will be inserted in the uterus right it is something which will be inserted in the uterus and it is a mo- it is the most commonly used method right it is the most commonly used method by the females right especially the females belong to rural areas okay iud's and this is a perfect method for those who want to you know uh, space their pregnant uh, the females those who want to space their pregnancies like sometimes right they uh, let's say a couple is there they are having their baby and now they want to that female want to conceive after 4 years after 5 years so in that case they can go for iud's that is intra uterine devices it's very effective as well right bachche and as i'm repeating this again it is a most commonly used method in the rural india in rural india it is the most commonly used method if you talk about urban india females they are prev- uh, they are preferring oral contraceptive methods but in rural india iud's are preferred so overall in india overall in india right iud's are preferred so here three categories are there the very first is non medicated iud's right they are used in few countries right they are also in some countries they are also banned non medicated iud's but in still in some countries they are still right they are still used so here from this particular part but check examples examples can come in your paper so when you talk about the non medicated intra uterine devices the best example is lips loop right you can just look at it lips loop so when it comes to the iud's female cannot insert it by by her like uh, she she cannot insert it by her own right she needs the help from professional from professional from doctors from nurses she needs the help right if she will try to insert it by uh, her own that can be problematic for her as well she might injure herself okay so it is advised that one should go uh, one should visit the doctor and doctors are going to insert these iud's so when you are talking about non medicated iud's this is something which is not going to release any medicine or any hormone within the body right simply what is going to happen bachche see these lips loop they are made up of plastic they are made up of polyethylene they are impregnated with barium sulfate right these lips loop they are made up of plastic they are impregnated with what they are impregnated with barium sulfate so as i said it is used in many parts of the world so basically when it will be inserted within the uterus it is going to promote what the phagocytotic cells of the uterus because something external right like let's say something from the outside we are inserting something from the outside within our uterus so obviously even it will cause the perforations to the uterus so because of that the cells the phag phagocytotic cells of uterus they will increase their number the phagocytosis of sperms will be increased so it works on that principle right to increase the cells that can destroy to increase the phagocytotic cells that can destroy the sperms present in the uterus okay so the example is very important here okay so the next is copper releasing iud it's simple copper releasing so means it is going to release the copper ions within the uterus okay so just look at it copper ions within the uterus so you can see t shaped seven shaped multi load 375 so we have three examples here right how many examples are there bachche three examples are there the one is copper t copper 7 multi load 375 definitely question will come from examples definitely it will come from examples so these iud's they will release copper ions and what is the what is the role of copper ions there in uterus what is the role of copper ions there in copper ions there in uterus so that copper ions they will suppress the sperm motility they will suppress the sperm movement and even the fertilizing capacity of sperms okay and even the fertilizing capacity of sperms that's what you need to remember clear bachche 
that's what you need to remember clear and next is the hormone releasing iud's so hormone releasing iud's obviously these iud's they are going to release the hormones within the uterus and the example here is progesterone surd progesterone surd and lng20 right leveno gastro i think ha huh. so progesterone surd lng20 these are the examples here okay so here these iud's they will make uterus unsuitable for the implantation and the cervix hostile to sperms means sperms will not be able to pass that right the uterus right the uterus is unsuitable for implantation no implantation obviously no further development will be there no pregnancy will be there yes it's levonorgestrel very good anant bachche right okay is that clear so iud's as i said they are ideal contraceptive methods for the females who want to delay pregnancy or want to spare children so it is one of the most widely used accepted method of contraception in india again mcq can come from this part got it so this is about the again it is also the example of barrier method that is your iud's okay next is bachche hormonal method obviously it includes the pills that are going to contain the hormones right hormonal method means hormones will be taken externally what will be done here hormones will be taken externally clear bachche so it is the most widely used contraceptive method again i am telling you oral contraceptive pills they are most widely used in urban india but overall right in india iud's are preferred okay if females want to space their pregnancy clear otherwise iud's are preferred okay theek hai and yes one more thing one more thing uh, do you know that because of iud's because of iud's histological like exact mechanism of iud's and their functioning is not clear right exact mechanism of these iud's and their functioning is not clear so let me tell you histological and biochemical okay histological and biochemical changes are done to endometrium do you know that histological and biochemical changes are done to endometrium right by these iud's endometrium you know na where implantation will be done causing spermicidal effects right causing spermicidal effect it is not about the hormonal iud's it's about all the iud's so they can cause histological and biochemical changes to the endometrial lining and because of that what is going to happen right the spermicidal effect will increase what is going to happen bachche spermicidal effect will increase the sperms will be destroyed fine the sperms will be destroyed clear bachche okay okay and moreover your copper releasing iud's they also release certain toxic cytokines do you know that they release the copper ions na they also release certain toxic cytokine cytokines i hope you know that they are uh, you know kind of proteins they are so because of that temporarily uh, infertile uh, infertility is created in that uterus okay temporarily infertility is created in that or you can say that local anti fertility effect is there because of that local anti fertility effect is induced by these copper releasing iud's fine by these copper releasing iud's okay theek hai so multi load three so all these examples are given in ncert fine so next is the oral contraceptive pills that is what we have to discuss or uh, don't worry we will also talk about the injections and implants also so as i said here oral pills are there like that we can take orally injections and implants they also come under the hormonal methods do you know that right oral pills injections implants they all are the part of these yes they all are the part of these hormonal methods yes bachche so female oral pills are mala d mala 7 okay so daily oral pills are started now how to take that oral pills see we are saying that these are the hormonal methods so what is going to be there right what is going to be there in these pills the hormones 
right what what will be there the hormones will be there now let me explain you the mechanism here it's very simple please listen to me carefully okay it's very simple you know that hypothalamus is the super master gland what is hypothalamus students it is the super master gland i hope you know about it what is it it is the super master gland am i right it is the super master gland what hypothalamus hypothalamus is going to release gnrh that is gonadotropin releasing hormone that gonadotropin releasing hormone are going to act on pituitary pituitary is what pituitary is the master gland pituitary is what it is the master gland clear bachche right it is also known as hypophysis i hope you remember so when gonadotropin releasing hormones are released from this gnrh in response to that from anterior lobe of pituitary right from anterior lobe of pituitary what will be released gonadotropins that is your fsh and lh am i right or wrong that is your fsh and lh most important topic it is the most important topic okay so hypothalamus hypothalamus is the super master gland hypothalamus is the super master gland it is going to instruct the pituitary pituitary is the master gland also known as hypophysis so when gonadotropin releasing hormone gnrh when it is released from hypothalamus it will act on pituitary in response to that pituitary from its anterior lobe pituitary will release follicle stimulating hormone and the luteinizing hormone so these are the gonadotropins these two hormones are the gonadotropins because they act on the gonads that is primary sex organ so you know that fsh is responsible for the follicle growth right in the case of females and lh is responsible for ovulation do you remember this bachcha do you remember this hormonal control yes do you remember this hormonal control that fsh is going to act on the follicle it is important for the follicle proliferation it is important for the follicular growth and lh is important for lh surge is important for the ovulation okay okay so now bachche when these follicles are growing and you know that right follicles are growing and further that follicles are releasing estrogen and your lh is the source of progesterone right your lh is also the source of progesterone like lh fsh will induce the release of estrogen and and because of lh the progesterone release is also there am i right am i right so ultimately fsh and lh they will help in the increase of estrogen and progesterone right this is something in general that we know about the hormones am i right guys quickly let me know in the chat section and, and i want to see that energy quickly let me know in the chat section everyone everyone that's a fact right that's a fact right now my point is let's say right you know that these hormones and their release okay so now you know that these hormones and their release it it depends upon that feedback mechanism the positive feedback mechanism can also be there varsha samriya selva yes everyone shri the positive feedback mechanism is also there the negative feedback mechanism is also there am i right positive feedback mechanism is there negative feedback mechanism is there now ultimately this fsh and lh fsh will induce estrogen release lh will induce progesterone release now imagine if i am taking something externally right if in my body externally progesterone and estrogen is there if in my body externally progesterone and estrogen is there right right so that progesterone and estrogen that progesterone and estrogen don't you think that it will give a feedback to our hypothalamus if externally i am taking progesterone and estrogen i can take the combination of progesterone and estrogen or there can be more progesterone more estrogen so it is going to give a feedback it is going to give a signal to my hypothalamus that already i am present right it will tell my hypothalamus that bro i am already present in the body there is no need to make fsh and lh means it's a kind of negative feedback to the hypothalamus that there is no release for gonadotropins right ranjit there is no need for gonadotropins am i right priya anant monica ranjit yes that there is no need for gonadotropins no need to release the gonadotropins so pituitary will not release gonadotropins 
yes or no if externally in my body if i'm giving my body ex hormones externally if i'm providing it hormones so that hormones the hormones are progesterone on estrogen they will give signal to my brain that there is no need to release fsh and lh there is no need to release fsh and lh am i right am i right so if there is no need to release fsh and lh means no fsh no lh in my body means no follicle growth no ovulation no follicle growth no ovulation so if there is no ovulation if there is no ovum release if there is no secondary oocyte release even if there is the sperm in the female vagina it is not going to cause pregnancy it is not going to cause pregnancy yes anant it is for the females only hai na it is not going to cause pregnancy are you understanding this loop are you understanding this loop that exactly what is happening what is happening that externally i am giving estrogen and progesterone to my body so it is sending a signal to my brain right it is sending a signal to my brain to my hypothalamus that in the body already progesterone estrogen is there so there is no need to release the gonadotropins no gonadotropins means no fsh no lh in body no fsh means follicles will not grow right that oocyte will not grow no lh means no ovulation is there so ultimately in the female body monica ultimately in the female body there will be there will be no gamete so somewhere these oral contraceptive pills which contains hormones they will stop the ovulation they will stop the ovulation getting it or not can we revise this concept quickly can be revise this concept quickly simple in our body we have the endocrine system in our body we have the glands firstly let's talk about the supermaster gland now you have to answer my question which gland is the supermaster gland which gland is the supermaster gland i want to see the answers here in the chat section quick everyone which glands are the supermaster which gland is the supermaster gland hypothalamus right it is hypothalamus what is the another name of this hypothalamus i hope you remember what is the another name of this hypothalamus quick what is the another name of this hypothalamus what is the another name of this hypothalamus are it's thermoregulator how can you forget it's a thermoregulator it's a thermoregulator students okay right so hypothalamus it releases gonadotropin releasing hormone it releases gnrh that gnrh is going to act on pituitary that gnrh is going to act on pituitary which is the master gland so when gnrh the releasing hormone the gonadotropin releasing hormone is released from hypothalamus that is going to tell the anterior lobe of pituitary that it's the time to release fsh and lh right bachche that it's the time to release fsh and lh am i right am i right that it is the time it is the time to release fsh and lh follicle stimulating hormone and the luteinizing hormone follicle stimulating hormone and the luteinizing hormone now now when the follicle stimulating hormone dr strange and this luteinizing hormone is released what will they do you know their function we have studied that in our previous chapter right so that will initiate the follicle growth that will initiate the growth of follicle so if follicle is growing that oocyte is growing so you know that when fsh is acting on follicles follicular cells are also releasing estrogen am i right am i right niharika amu vini am i right they are it is also releasing fsh it is also releasing estrogen am i right of course of course and this lh it is also going to release it is also it is also going to cause the ovulation and then the progesterone will be released so in simple words in simple words i can say priya in simple words i can say priya that fsh and lh fsh and lh they are they are the source of estrogen and progesterone right they are the source of estrogen and progesterone can i say so yes bachcho can i say so of course i can of course i can 
यस बच्चे बट इफ लेट से आ मूव राइट नाउ वी हैव टू फूल आर ब्रेन राइट इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन दैट फीडबैक मैकेनिज्म एम आई राइट इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन दैट फीडबैक मैकेनिज्म आई एम फूलिंग माई ब्रेन राइट अल्टीमेटली आई नो दैट एफ एस एच एंड एल एच विल गिव एस्ट्रोजन प्रोजेस्टिरोन सो एक्सटर्नली आई एम गिविंग एफ एस्ट्रोजन एंड प्रोजेस्टिरोन टू माई बॉडी अंडरस्टैंड दिस मैकेनिज्म एवरी वन many times i have seen students they get confused here right we are fooling our brain we are fooling our body we are externally giving our body progesterone and estrogen right we are externally giving our body progesterone and estrogen if externally i am going to give my body progesterone and estrogen so my brain will be like there is no need to release fsh and lh remember negative feedback remember negative feedback exactly anand it's just like the negative feedback there students it's just like what it's just like the negative feedback bachche so that negative feedback okay that will be like that there is no release for these gonadotropins no gonadotropins no egg release right no gonadotropins means no egg release clear that's how these hormonal methods they work okay so this is the composition of oral pill look at this this question can be asked in your final paper this is the composition of your this is the composition for uh, of oral pill that is something very important it is the important mcq okay bachche it is the important mcq am i right am i right yes bachche so synthetic progesterone will be there in oral pill synthetic estrogen will be there right so usually in the कॉन्ट्रासेप्टिव मैथड इन द हॉर्मोनल कॉन्ट्रासेप्टिव मैथड बच्चे वॉट डू वी हैव इन द हॉर्मोनल कॉन्ट्रासेप्टिव मैथड वी हैव द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ प्रोजेस्टिड ऑन एस्ट्रोजन दीज टाइप ऑफ पिल्स आर नोन एज कंबाइंड पिल्स राइट दीज टाइप ऑफ पिल्स आर नोन एज कंबाइंड पिल्स दैट देयर विल बी द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ एस्ट्रोजन एंड प्रोजेस्टिड ऑन एंड समटाइम्स ओनली प्रोजेस्टिड ऑन इज देर राइट ओनली प्रोजेस्टिड ऑन इज देर ओके ओके सो सिंथेटिक प्रोजेस्टिड ऑन इट्स कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इज हाई सिंथेटिक एस्ट्रोजन इट्स कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इज लो सो अल्टीमेटली इन ओरल कॉन्ट्रासेप्टिव पिल्स सिंथेटिक एस्ट्रोजन एंड प्रोजेस्टिड ऑन दे आर प्रेजेंट गॉट इट दे आर प्रेजेंट क्लियर बच्चे क्लियर बच्चे राइट so that's the composition and i hope now you know the mechanism as well i hope you know the mechanism as well so look at this part look at this part daily oral pills they are started preferably within first 5 days of menstrual cycle firstly let me explain this part look at this right female what female has to do you know that on an average we consider that menstrual cycle is for 28 days am i right on an average that's what we consider that menstrual cycle is for how many days it is for how many days it is for 28 days am i right it is for 28 days am i right yes am i right of course i know that we know that now what is the case here like let's say female she is menstruating right female she is menstruating she has decided that i should start the uptake of oral contraceptive pills because i don't want pregnancy right so the fifth day on the fifth day of her menstruation she will start this oral contraceptive she will start these oral contraceptive pills so on the fifth day of menstruation she will be taking the first pill first pill which is loaded with right which with these pills are loaded with what these pills are loaded with the hormones guys stay here the next topic is going to be very important so please listen to me carefully okay listen to me carefully are you getting my point yes bachche are you getting my point are you getting my point that what is going to happen here that on the fifth day on the last day of her bleeding phase right she will start this tablet and she will continue it for the next right for the next 21 days she is going to continue it for the next 21 days okay and after doing that when again when again she will start bleeding when again there is a, a, there will be her bleeding phase there will be her menstruation phase right then she took a hold on that she is not going to take that tablets this is how it works it is not the placebo effect i'm not ha huh, like, venkat it is not actually the placebo effect right but somewhere in the body the chemical is there na that is why it is stopping the brain to release that not exactly we can say it is the placebo effect 
okay so so she will start the last day of her menstruation she will start taking the medicine she will start taking the medicine right she will uh, she will keep on taking uh, she will uh, continue the intake till 21 days and then again during her bleeding phase she will take a gap of seven days and again she will start right again she will start so that's how it works that's how it works but now you you will see that after 21 days the another tablets are also there right but they are having the different color so obviously it becomes difficult for female to track that to remember that right initially what used to uh, be there that uh, these uh, tablets now they they come like this only 21 tablets used to be there but then female she forgot that when she has to start next right so just to avoid that uh, confusion so during her bleeding phase that tablets are added they are the iron supplements they are the iron supplements right during pregnancy this is what a female need yes or no during pregnancy you know that blood loss is there so if iron will be taken that will be good so these are the supplements these are the supplements so during her bleeding phase female will take these pills and then again she will come back to this one okay okay so these are the hormones basically hormones in the body so if if female if she misses one tablet let's say one day if she has missed the tablet next day she can take two tablets but let's say if uh, uh, she has missed the tablet this tablet intake twice then she had to consult the doctor okay after two to three days right if she has missed the tablets for two to three days then female she has to consult the doctor and then doctor will again start that hormonal cycle are you getting it so these white colored pills they are hormones and these red colored pills they are just the iron supplements are you getting my point these are just the iron supplements are you getting my point understood understood Srinath will you please wait for one minute you will get the answer of that question so that's how these hormones they work okay that's how these hormones they work got it guys sure everyone are you sure about it fine are you sure about it so this is the action of these medicines so see it is written in ncrt that it is written in ncrt that daily oral pills are started preferably within the first five days of her menstrual cycle so female is going to start taking it within the first five days of her menstrual cycle bache, right and then pills have to be taken daily for a period of 21 days starting preferably within the first five days of her menstrual cycle so within first five days of her menstrual cycle she will start taking these medicine she will continue it for 21 days then there will be a gap of seven days so it is written now during which menstruation occur so you know that that red color tablets are for that menstruation right that red color tablets are for that menstruation so it has to be repeated in the same pattern till the female desire to prevent the conception any doubt here Yes, but do you have any doubt? Right, I have already explained you the mechanism. Chemistry lover, but I want more and more fire emojis, guys. If you have understood this, right, I want you people to be high on energy. Quick, Neharika, right, I know this one is the most complicated concept from this particular part. Quick, is it done clear? Now we have to speed it up. Now we have to finish MTP, infertility, and STI. Three topics are left. So let's increase the pace done so that's how it works so mechanism although i have already explained but still just revise it from this part guys revise it from this part so action of oral pill is to prevent the ovulation from ovary this is achieved by blocking the pituitary secretion of gonadotropin now i think these three lines are clear to you all right because i have explained this mechanism to you in detail right in detail i have explained you the mechanism yes guys quickly tell me quickly tell me got it so progesterone only preparation progesterone only it renders the cervical mucus thick and scanty which will prevent or retard the entry of sperm so basically cervical mucus will become thick that will not allow the sperm to move further right that's how it works guys that's how it works so is that clear is that clear right so next is the saheli that we need to discuss in detail saheli part is also given in the 
uh, initial part of that uh, reproductive health na right so this is the saheli that we need to discuss yet now that we need to discuss now clear bache clear so guys i think you people are low on energy what are you doing right what i just said that we need to be focused we need to finish it before 8 okay so let's speed up let's speed up guys so tell me are you with me why to keep a break when session is just for 3 hours after that you will be free right you please keep revising you start taking breaks then guys are you with me so quickly share the session link quickly share the session link with your friends as well invite more people here and ask them that the most important topics are going on and they should be the part of this lecture quickly guys chalo so come back to this so saheli it's a weekly oral pill right it's a non steroidal pill it is very much preferred i hope you know that and who made it cdri lucknow what is the cdri lucknow cdri means bache central drug research institute what is the cdri full form central drug research institute right situated in lucknow and they made this saheli right right with the least side effects with the least side effect and it is a weekly oral pill right initially initially for initial few months female has to take it take it twice for a week then weekly oral pill right right there is no need to jaise mala d mala 7 i told you about the mala d mala 7 na so and i told you how female has to take it but this saheli is weekly oral pill right for initial few months female has to take it twice and then once in a week okay so it is also known as once in a week pill pill and it is yes you are right it is also known as mini pill it is also known as mini pill got it it is also known as mini pill right bachche so developed by scientists at cdri lucknow important mcq its preparation is non steroidal another important mcq so saheli it's it includes scent chromin which is also known as bachche or meloxifen right or mel or meloxifen clear bachche clear 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 right it includes the yes it includes uh, scent chromin which is also known as or melog or meloxifen okay which is also known as or meloxifen clear bachche so scent chromin is anti estrogenic the mechanism the question can come from mechanism another important mcq so many questions will come from this part so it is anti estrogenic it will prevent implantation activity and cause the contraception right it is what it is anti yes bachche anti estrogenic it will prevent that astro that uh, it is anti estrogenic clear bachche clear 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 so it will prevent implantation so basically the receptors for the estrogen they will not be there right endometrial will also not grow so in detail if you will read its mechanism na there are so many things so as per ncrt it is right anti estrogenic prevent implantation activity and will cause the contraception okay so that's how it works so it is important and here the failure rate is uh, also less right it's near about 1.83% it's less failure rate is also less it's 1.83 percent and moreover but your injection and implants are also there they are also the hormonal method they are also having the same hormones right the progesterone and estrogen will be there in the combination right very good bachche yes it will block estrogen receptors excellent so see this injection will include dmpa depot medroxy progester uh, see Uh, depot medroxy progesterone acetate and when it is the implant they are subcutaneous below the skin right right here they will be inserted they will be inserted and they will keep on releasing the hormones and i told you how that hormones are going to work so here you can see so it's depo provera contraceptive injection bachche again it is having hormones and here you can see the implants they will be placed underneath the skin of arm and they will keep releasing the hormone for few years okay okay yes bachche if even there is no ovulation still that endometrial lining it will you know it will keep disintegrating okay fine so that's the example that's the example and then comes the emergency contraceptive pill like i pill unwanted 72 so female has to take it within 72 hours of unprotected 
sexual intercourse right of unprotected sexual intercourse she has to take it within the 72 hours of unprotected sexual yes bachcha sexual intercourse right so they will not let the pregnancy to occur fine bachche emergency contraceptive pills understood so this is all about the contraceptive devices and next is the surgical method which is permanent so it includes the vasectomy bachche right it includes the vasectomy and the tubectomy vasectomy from this vas you can you know what is it vas difference right it includes a vas difference so vas difference will be cut and tied and because of that what is going to happen we are blocking the sperm passage sperms will not be able to pass further so here in the semen the sperms will be absent right so it is sterilized now when it is tubectomy the fallopian tube will be cut and tied right so egg production is there but that egg will not pass further right egg is not going to pass further got it got it sure are you sure any other doubt right clear bache so these are the here the chances of reversibility are very 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 less okay they are very 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 less now bachche one student is also asking one question ma'am what is nor plant bachche nor plant is nothing nor plant is the implant no one student is asking this question ki ma'am what is nor plant nor plant is nothing it is the example of it is the example of implant it is progestin it is progestin only device okay here there will be you know kind of six subcutaneous devices that will be injected okay okay got it bachche so nor plant nor plant is also the example of implant if these injections they are having high level of progesterone so you know that the secretion of gonadotropins uh, will be inhibited clear bachche so this is all about the contraceptive devices this is all about the sterilization clear bachche so there are possible ill effects of contraceptive devices also jaise in the case of iud's sometimes without the knowledge of I, uh, female the iud's can come out and the pregnancy can occur but that chances are very rare okay that chances are very rare so that is what you need to keep in your mind okay so you cannot say that only sterilization is 100% safe method in other method there are still chances of error uh, like there are still chances of uh, uh, failure rate as well so there are still chances of failure as well got it bachche progesta cert we have already discussed na afra lng20 progesta cert that is the example of iud's okay so possible ill effects are like nausea abdominal pain breakthrough bleeding irregular menstrual bleeding or even the breast cancer though not very significant should not be totally ignored got it so this is about the ill effects okay this is about the ill effects of the contraception got it understood sure so should i lock it done clear contraceptive method is done hai na yes ma'am but you already discussed this depo prova that is the example of the injection no right bleeding can also be there within the uterus sometimes it can be severe and sometimes heavy menstrual flow is also there okay heavy menstrual flow can also be there bachche right these are also the ill effects of these contraceptive methods okay in the male in the case of males na some male pills are also there that are used in china that is gossypol it is made up of cotton seed cotton is gossypium no so it is to stop the spermatogenesis do you know that it is to stop the spermatogenesis male pills gossypol okay subhashini made up of cotton seeds so it will prevent spermatogenesis okay done terminal methods be clear okay so made oh made from it should be made from cotton seeds done so next is bachche mtp that is medical termination of pregnancy it is also known as induced abortion what's the word here it is also known as induced abortion right what is abortion right it is the premature you can say that that baby is not fully developed right the baby is not fully developed okay within the female uh, uterus the baby is not fully developed and prematurely that baby will be killed right that baby will be aborted that is the induced abortion two things are there one is induced abortion another is the spontaneous this is sometimes let's say endometrial lining is not so thick or some other issue is there and because of that abortion 
is there that is spontaneous but sometimes we are inducing right female is inducing it right saucy female is inducing it by her own she she wants to end that she she wants to stop that growth further right that that is the induced abortion so medical termination of pregnancy is mtp it was legalized in india right it was legalized in india can you tell me when when in 1971 right in 1971 another important question in 1971 it was legalized right it was legalized in india got it this as i said na bachche in 1951 family planning program was initiated but this mtp it was legalized in india right bachche it was legalized in india when when yes when in 1971 got it got it sure are you sure about it okay very good very good so this is the induced abortion so this is another important topic so here you can see the countries you know see why this mtp is legalized in india there are many reasons firstly let's talk about it no doubt in some religions it is still considered unethical right because as per them when implantation occur means that's a life that's a human life and it's unethical to destroy that baby but many issues can be there just sometimes pregnancy is unwanted that that couple right that couple right 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 that couple is not they do not want that uh, they do not want that baby or they are not capable of giving a good life to that baby or like let's say a teen right teenage girl maybe she got pregnant there can be the rape cases right there can be the issue when that baby right the baby within the female uterus that is having a genetic disorder in that case termination of pregnancy is required right sometimes that pregnancy can be dangerous for the mother as well for the baby as well so anything can be there anything can be there are you getting my point right so in that case is obviously that 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 abortion should that this abortion should be legalized because that that scenarios are also there if that abortion is to is to kill a female girl right female baby if it is for the female fetus side then it is unethical then it is illegal right in india of no doubt the uh, abortion is legalized but there are conditions right there are certain conditions if that right if that baby if parents they know about the sex of that baby and they want to kill the female uh, fetus then it is unlegal then it is illegal it is not good okay it is not good but still there are countries where mtp is still banned you can see that philippines jamaica iraq the, right right there are many countries there are many countries which still consider that mtp is where mtp is totally banned there are countries where there are certain conditions under that conditions only mtp is right advised or mtp is allowed there are condition where mtp is uh, there in countries like there are set of conditions right right but 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 these are the countries where mtp is banned right there is no leverage it is totally banned whatever is the condition even if that pregnancy is dangerous for the mother and the baby still mtp is illegal there so you can see there are many countries i just put the name of four countries only clear bachche so what is this mtp it is the intentional or voluntary termination of pregnancy before full term it is the medical termination of pregnancy so it is induced abortion right it is induced abortion it is the spontaneous abortion it is the induced abortion clear bachche vardhan many people from foreign came to india for okay but still there are conditions that has to be taken care right so nearly 45 to 50 million mtps are performed in a year all over the world just imagine 45 to 50 million mtps right and it accounts to the one fifth of the total number of conceived pregnancy in a year right one fifth of total number will be aborted imagine clear so government of india as i said it legalized it in it legalized it in 1971 it legalized it in 1971 with some strict conditions to avoid its misuse so such restrictions are all the more important to check indiscriminate and illegal female fetus side 
right so mtp to control population growth is not advised it it is not there right it's not like that that uh, to control the population let's let's kill the babies no it's not like that secondly right if it if uh, it is not to promote the female feticide okay female feticide in hindi is female feticide in hindi is bhrun hatya okay now imran khan at the rate uh, anya gopika mam left guys see i know few teachers they are not the part of this channel anymore right right i know you people are curious about it that few teachers they are still they are not the part of this channel anymore and you you know you want to know why you are attached to them because they were teaching you but remember there are many new faces to this channel as well and i think they are performing really well they have given their best isn't it be it its physics be it its chemistry or it is biology right i know few people they left this channel they left this platform there are many reasons right personal reasons are also the part sometimes we are not happy uh, with that place right sometimes we we whatever we are expecting from a particular company we are not getting it so that's why we left and let's not make it dirty you know one should not make it dirty right okay you are leaving you go somewhere ultimately what we want to do we want to teach students we want to teach people that's what that's what we want ultimately right we right we want to contribute in your future and that's what you should focus so do not cry for those who left right but be cheerful respect and you can say that you should welcome the new faces here as well because they are also giving their best okay you can check yavar sir's lecture yavar sir's lecture for the physics right he took the class for i think 9 or 9 and a half i don't remember exactly the duration but it is for more than 9 hours so he is providing you the quality content right so guys let's not chit chat such things here in my classroom okay hai na let's not chit chat such things on my classroom and we right our team we are not the kind of teachers who are going to create the scene right who are going to say false words to anyone theek hai it's everyone's choice let's focus here let's focus on our content let's focus on neat 2024 how many days are left for neat 2024 how many days are left for neat 2024 how many days are left for neat 2024 a quick reminder content is more than enough 141 days 132 days nahi yaar 140 141 just calculate it you can check my video right see wait i'll show you see this you can check this video of mine the detailed strategy to score 360 marks right you'll get to know about the number of days as well literally you'll get to know about the number of days as well theek hai chalo come back to the topic so mtps are considered relatively safe this is another important question students considered relatively safe during the first trimester you know na gestation period in humans right what is the duration you know about the gestation period in humans yes or no yes or no so 0 to 3 months right 4th 5th 6th months then 7th 8th 9th right so this one 0 to 3 months it is the first trimester it is the first trimester means 12 weeks initial 12 weeks of pregnancy very critical they are right the implantation will be there in this time period you know that then it is the second trimester right what is it it is the second trimester 24 weeks yes or no next third trimester it is right third tri 36 weeks or sometimes you know it can be somewhere 36 or 38 weeks can also occur okay okay so this mtp is safe during the first trimester means in initial during initial 12 weeks why is it so why is it so right because bachche initially na initially the development is not that much initially the skeleton of that baby is cartilaginous it is not bony it is not bony yet it is still cartilaginous it is made up of cartilages are you getting my point it is made up of cartilages it is not bony are you getting it 0 to 3 months first trimester so at that time it is 
advisable it is a safe but yes one more thing is there sometimes let's say some complication is there in pregnancy some issue is there in pregnancy still still that baby can be aborted they say initially to even pills can help right that can induce the abortion but then surgical methods are preferred and it can be done till 24 weeks of pregnancy but yes in that case jaise for the for if the abortion is there in the first trimester so the signature from one medical practitioner it is sufficient but if it ha it has it it has to be done in the in this trimester na in the second trimester then in that case right the sign from the signature from two medical practitioners they are allowed okay they are allowed so this this detail you need to know about it clear so come to this part it is again from ncert so let's read it revise it so see medical termination of pregnancy amendment act was there in 2017 amendment means you know na in hindi amendment means sudhar some changes were there in that act right some changes were there in that act so it was enacted by the government of india with the intention of reducing in incidences of illegal abortion because but you know there are certain medical quacks those who are just looking for money they do not bother anyone's life right so they will assure that theek hai we can perform this procedure but it is not that easy in that procedure if it is not done properly it can also kill that female okay it can also kill that female okay so see here so uh, so amendments were made to avoid that illegal abortion and consequent maternal mortality and morbidity so according to this act according to this amendment act right pregnancy may be terminated on certain considered grounds within the first 12 weeks okay on the opinion of one registered medical practitioner got it this is what i just explained this is what i just explained then if the pregnancy has lasted more than 12 weeks but fewer than 24 weeks two registered medical practitioners must be of the opinion formed in the good faith that the required ground exists so the grounds for termination of pregnancy are the continuation of the pregnancy would involve a risk, a risk to the life of the pregnant woman or grave of or of grave injury physical or mental health okay these are the grounds for the termination then there is substantial risk that of the child were born it would suffer from such physical or mental abnormalities as to be seriously handicapped right as to be seriously handicapped got it got it sure so this is about the mtp so nine so mtp act in 1971 you can see here mtp act 2021 right so as per mtp act 1971 only married women can avail this mtp but as per this 2021 both married and unmarried women can avail so limit of gestation here is up to 20 weeks here is up to 24 weeks right bachche that's all that's fine for you done so the next topic that we need to discuss is your infertility and then there will be the there will be the stis sexually transmitted infections or the venereal diseases so up to this part if there is any doubt do let me know students quick if up to this part if there is any doubt any doubt do let me know do let me know quick sure chalo so firstly let's finish the topic of infertility then bachche we will uh, yeah after finishing the topic of infertility we will be discussing the uh, stis that is sexually transmitted infection so i need 40 ha 40 minutes more i think 40 minutes will be too much i think uh, yes we need 30 minutes more theek hai theek hai thank you saucy for such a love thank you okay so can we start guys what say are you tired or can you just give me your another 30 minutes are you people tired next topic is going to be very easy you can see we are strictly following the ncert no question is going to come beyond ncert whatever extra information is required i have shared that too yes are you energetic are you energetic tell me quickly guys quickly i want to see that energy in the chat section quick Ah, I I'm not going to say like Vazim. No, I want some fire in the chat. No, I don't want that. No, is it Vazim? Sorry, I want some fire in the chat. 
my dear students hai na that's what he used to do my dear students my lovely students today we will be starting this chapter here you can see these are the 10 complete days of game of neat hai na so i am not going to do like that so you should be high you know that we have to finish 32 chapters theek hai quick i don't know when will he come to the session and he'll be like chi what are you teaching hai yeah, na today your hsp sir your bazim sir both are inactive <laughs> chalo my dear people yes how can i forget my dear people so it's the 10th day of game of neat and do we are fulfilling our promises and we will proceed like this we will proceed like that chalo so come back to this so what is infertility a large number of couples all over the world including india they are infertile what is the meaning of being infertile infertile means they are trying they are having unprotected sexual intercourse for more than one year but still they are not able to conceive the female is not able to conceive right right so they are unable to produce children in spite of unprotected sexual cohabitation that is the infertility it can be anything any issue can be there it can be psychological as well you can see here reason can be anything physical re reason congenital means by birth there is some abnormality by birth may be some infertility is there by birth may be some hormonal issue or anything can be there okay so any disease can be there because of that couple is infertile drugs immunological psychological any reason can be there jaise i think you you know that that uh, chain smokers in the case of chain smokers the sperm count is less right if you are if you are a smoker if you are a chain smoker in that case your sperm production is affected right in the case of chain smokers the sperm production is less okay the sperm production is less so obviously with the time it can also result in infertility maybe they do not have the healthy they they, they uh, their sperms are not healthy mean maybe their sperms are not even motile any reason can be there any reason can be there as i said psychological reasons can also be there right psychological reasons can also be there so that is what infertility is and you know that in india we are very good at blaming females right chain smoker means those who smoke daily right every day two to three cigarettes or more than that every day right daily they used to smoke and you know that when it comes to india in india we are very good at blaming females for everything right right and uh, we can even blame females for 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 not having the electricity in our home right just kidding theek hai so obviously uh, initially this infertility was not considered as a very severe issue let me tell you right infertility was not considered as a very severe issue but in india females were blamed for the infertility no one was putting fingers on the males right so with time with time because even infertility was increasing so it was considered as a serious issue and the and the, you know doctors they started studying it they started looking for the ways by which they can help that particular couple are you getting my point so the best thing that we have to study here is your art what is this art it is assisted reproductive technologies what is this art it is assisted reproductive technologies are you getting it so assisted reproductive technology obviously these are the techniques these are the technologies that are going to assist that couple so that they can have the babies so so no doubt it's a very expensive right very expensive so maybe in your surrounding also you might have seen the in uh, the fertility clinics there right bachche so it's a different science people used to study a lot there and it's not like that after m no doubt after mbbs obviously once you will get that degree further you can do uh, further specializations also but there are diplomas also by which you can <coughs> work in such labs where this ivf and everything is going on okay so let's talk about it so the very first thing that we have to discuss here is in vitro fertilization that is ivf right in vitro fertilization that is ivf so basically it is the test tube baby program it is the test tube baby program right that's what we need to study first in the assisted reproductive technology let me tell you students it is not just in vitro fertilization that we are going to study no no it is not just the in vitro fertilization that we are going to study no here because it includes the 
techniques that are assisting that couple so that they can have babies okay so that they can have babies so in vitro and in vivo fertilization both are the part of this assisted reproductive technologies right both are the part of this assisted reproductive technologies right right but so when it is the in vitro fertilization you have zift right please write down this is important definitely question will come from this part you have iuts right and you have icsi icsi we will discuss it in detail and it is very simple very 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 simple bache it's very simple and when it is the in vivo fertilization here it is the gift and it is the artificial insemination artificial insemination okay so what do we have here students again i'm repeating one is in vitro fertilization that is ivf which includes the zift iut icsi another is in vivo fertilization where we have gift artificial insemination so infertility clear what is infertility yes i'll add one more thing here bachche infertility can be primary infertility it can be secondary infertility primary infertility means when that couple they don't even have a single baby they don't even have their first child second infertility means when let's say a couple is having one child but second time they are not able to conceive okay second time the female is not able to conceive then it will be the secondary infertility now in vitro fertilization in vivo fertilization these are the two things that we have so in vitro fertilization it is basically the test tube baby program when i was of your age and even i used to think like no, not of your age uh, you are if you are a dropper then like two years younger than you so i used to think jaise when first time my ma'am said na test tube baby program so you know what what did i imagine that oh my god there will be a baby in test tube right there will be a baby in test tube trust me this is what i imagine she she just said na test tube baby program so i was like wow baby will be there in test tube but actually it's not like that actually it's not like that right there is a procedure i'll tell you what is the procedure in vitro in vitro means outside the body in lab conditions outside the body in lab conditions you you might know about this in vitro world right outside the body in lab conditions then in vivo in vivo fertilization means within the body within the natural environment so there are two words here in vitro fertilization means fertilization fusion of union of male and female gametes outside the body in vivo fertilization means within the body there will be the fertilization and the union of the gametes okay the union of the gametes so in vitro fertilization will in uh, 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 fertilization will include this zygote intra fallopian transfer it includes what zygote intra fallopian transfer then include it includes intra uterine intra uterine transfer see everything is explained here right then icsi intra cytoplasmic intra cytoplasmic sperm injection right intra cytoplasmic sperm injection clear bachche this is in vitro fertilization so when it is in vivo fertilization here gamete intra fallopian transfer okay gamete intra fallopian transfer so now let me explain you this test tube baby program so here are some facts trust me you are going to love that you know the first test tube baby of this world do you know about the first test tube baby of the world yep tell me do you know about the first test tube baby tell me tell me tell me louis brown very good louis brown the world's first test tube baby born on 25th july 1978 in the england right in the england and do you know about the second test tube baby do you know about the second test tube baby of world 
यू नो द सेकेंड टेस्ट यू बेबी ऑफ वर्ल्ड इज द फर्स्ट टेस्ट यू बेबी ऑफ इंडिया मीन्स आफ्टर राइट आई वी एफ वॉज इट्स इट्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग राइट यू आर गोइंग टू लव दैट यू आर गोइंग टू लव दैट आई आई होप इवन आई रिमेंबर द नेम जस्ट अ मिनट हाँ so basically what was the story right the ivf was performed in england right the first test tube baby was louis brown so test in test tube baby what is going to happen right it is the part of in vitro fertilization so in in vitro fertilization the male and the female gametes will be extracted right two scenarios can be there let's say there is a couple right they female is also producing healthy gamete male is also having healthy gametes but female uterus is not suitable for the pregnancy it is not suitable for the implantation that can be the scenario or let's say female or male right any one of them or both of them they they, they even female is not capable for you know nourishing that baby the uterus is not suitable even female is not producing gamete any reason can be there so when gametes are taken from that couple from that parents right sometimes it is the case bachche that parents they are having healthy gametes they are, but uterus is not suitable or fertilization is not acting so in that ca case the gametes are taken from them but sometimes let's say male gametes are not healthy or female gametes are not healthy right in that case they can also take the help from a donor right so ultimately when it is the test tube baby when it is the ivf in vitro fertilization gametes will be taken and they will be fertilized outside the body in lab conditions right in lab proper lab conditions will be provided proper conditions suitable for this fertilization they will be provided and fertilization is outside the body outside the body when there is fertilization obviously outside the body the zygote will form so this zygote will grow for some time this zygote will grow for some time right it will it will become multicellular then accordingly the imp, uh, just say let's say female cannot produce the gametes ya yeah, her in her body the fertilization is not occurring but she can hold the baby she, her uterus is fine so in that case that zygote will be inserted in her uterus so that is the scenario that is the case clear bachche so louis brown is the first world test tube baby on 25th july uh, took birth on 25th july 1978 so after 61 days after this right in india dr subhash mukherjee if i am not wrong dr subhash mukherjee right you can search even you can search about him okay this is something interesting ha huh? listen to me very carefully so dr subhash mukherjee who was an indian scientist he was he was a physician he was a physician from some bihar and uh, right uh, from british india now that is jharkhand now that it was earlier called as a british india that, that 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 part is basically now as jharkhand in short if i have to tell you so subhash mukherjee he performed this ivf right imagine 67 days right 61 7 days after the birth of this louis brown basically he performed it right he performed this technique okay right no uh, not of okay he performed this uh, not i won't say that uh, uh, 67 days after the birth of this no basically you can say that 67 days after this first test tube baby program after this first in vitro fertilization he performed this theek okay? hai so you can forget about these days as well i i am sure it's 60 and 7 days if you want to check you can so subhash mukherjee he performed this uh, ivf in india right bachche he performed this ivf in india clear bachche clear bachche so he created the world's second test tube baby and her name is do you know the name kanupriya akka durga kanupriya agarwal who's also known as durga right who's also known as durga okay bachche okay bachche so she uh, right kanupriya also known as durga who was also born in 1978 just 61 days after the first ivf baby in uk okay 61 days after the first ivf baby in uk kanupriya also known as kanupriya akka durga theek okay? hai now the story is he didn't get recognition for his work do you know that he didn't get recognition for his work do you know that do you know that right he was harassed by west bengal state government 
he was harassed by west bengal state government and indian government are not allowed to share his success right they were not allowed to present his success right because of ethical reasons people were like ki why why you did this this and that this and that right so after many years after many years when again ivf was uh, you know performed in india when it was presented right uh, doctor i don't remember maybe the name of that doctor is dr anand something like that he got the credit for the first uh, test tube Uh, baby in india but he went to a conference there he got the data he got to know about the dr subhash uh, dr subhash mukherjee and then bache he presented his work right then you know many papers were published about it a movie was also there so basically he performed this but he didn't get recognition he was criticized and because of that he uh, he ended his life okay ha huh. even he got the recognition posthumously after his death okay Okay, so the name of first Indian test tube baby is Kanupriya Agarwal, who was born on October three, nineteen seventy-eight. Right, late Dr. Subhash Mukherjee was first ever person in India and second in world to create a baby through IVF procedure. Got it, bache? Got it, right? Done? Sure. ठीक है. But the credit was. so basically dr anand kumar from icmr indian council of medical research med right so he got that paper he got to know about it so after his death he got the recognition clear bache so this is about the ivf this is about your general knowledge as well and see on october 3 1978 dr subhash mukherjee became the first physician in india and second in the world to create a test tube baby so that's it that's all clear so what is the meaning of ivf is that clear to you that what is the meaning of ivf yes bachche the meaning of ivf is clear to you or not in vitro fertilization means fertilization is out, outside the body okay so the first thing that we need to start we need to discuss under this ivf is zift that is a zygote intra fallopian transfer it's very simple bachche it's a zygote intra fallopian transfer see it's very simple zygote will be transferred intra mane within within the fallopian tube simple so outside the body there will be the fertilization zygote will grow right zygote will grow zygote will grow up to eight blastomere stage so basically here zygote or early embryo it is ncert bache zygote or early embryo that is up to eight blastomeres zygote or early embryo that is up to eight blastomeres will be transferred into the fallopian tube of mother or the surrogate mother that is the zift clear bache that is the zift clear bache right zygote or early embryo up to up to eight blastomeres next is the next is the i u t what is this i u t bache it's intra uterine transfer what is this i u t it is the intra uterine transfer so within the uterus there will be a transfer okay within the uterus ashish bache there will be a transfer so if more than 8 blastomere if the if the embryo is more than 8 blastomere so you need to remember that bache if it is more than 8 blastomeres then transferred in so embryo is transferred within uterus got it next is icsi that is intracytoplasmic sperm injection what is it it is intracytoplasmic sperm injection are right next is what next is icsi intracytoplasmic sperm injection bachche it is having maximum success rate right here what is there it is having maximum success rate so basically what will be done here bachche it's simple the intracytoplasmic sperm injection so let's say there is an egg right it is having its nucleus so with the help of a needle the sperm nucleus will be taken they both will be fused they both will be fused so of course in this case what will be there the success rate will be maximum okay so it's a specialized procedure uh, right to form an embryo in the lab 
so sperm is directly injected into the cytoplasm of the ovum right sperm is directly injected into the cytoplasm of the ovum clear bache so next is in vivo fertilization next is what next is in vivo fertilization so bache there is some abnormality with the couple right let's see if their gamete production is not proper right gamete production is not proper then gift will be preferred the gamete intra fallopian transfer gamete intra fallopian transfer that is in the case of female let's say gametes are not right let's say even female gametes are not produced a female gamete is not healthy or let's say that male is having some issue erectile dysfunctioning is there male gametes are not healthy in that case they take the gametes from the donor male as well that can be relative that can be anyone okay so if there is issue with the gametes but the female uterus is healthy she can she, in her in her body fertilization can occur in her body implantation can occur so in that case gift is preferred that is gamete intra fallopian transfer gametes will be transferred within the fallopian tube they will fertilize within the body why am i calling subhashini why am i calling it as in vivo fertilization because gametes will fertilize within the body okay gametes will fertilize within the body so transfer of an ovum collected from the ovary into the fallopian tube of same female or the female who can right or who cannot produce one but have suitable environment for fertilization clear so next is artificial insemination so now bachche you know the meaning of insemination right insemination means transfer of male gametes within uh, the female genital tract with the help of male copulatory organ amu what is the meaning of insemination transfer of male gametes within the female genital tra tract with the help of male copulatory organ let's say in the case of male there is an issue the issue can be related to the sperm production it can be related to the unhealthy sperm it can be related let's let's say male is having low sperm count or erectile dysfunctioning can be there so in that case the sperms will be transferred artificially right the sperms will be transferred ajmi it will be transferred artificially okay that is the artificial insemination right so artificially if sperms are transferred within the female body it means the fertilization further will take place within the female body that's why it is in vivo fertilization right that's why it is in vivo fertilization and there can be intra uterine insemination also so if that male gametes are injected within female uterus then it will be intra uterine insemination if they are injected within fallopian tube it will be artificial insemination right sorry it will be within the vagina if it will be then artificial or if it will be within the uterus intra uterine insemination right so this is about the infertility this is about the assisted reproductive technology and next topic or the last topic is gonorrhea so yeah, so within next 10 minutes let's finish this topic excited excited yes today without any break we are going to finish one more chapter right see i told you i just need 3 hours and i started the lecture at i think 510 or 515 na hai na 510 or 515 chalo so let's finish it guys even i am hungry but yeah i think your motivation is getting down no good class na are very good class acha do you like ma are even i am hungry i am telling you i missed my lunch i skipped my lunch i'm i'm literally very hungry you can't ima imagine uh, even after after ending your class i'm going to have the meal right that paranthe oh literally i have planned everything i am going to end your class i'll share the pdf in the telegram group i'll run right to the nearby restaurant right i'm going to eat the paranthas i'm telling you with a cup of tea it's planned it's planned so let's finish this chapter are wazim sir was like lecture will take it to 10 hours because that chapters are lengthy jaise in our case evolution principles of inheritance molecular basis of inheritance will take around 10 hours hai na 
so are you ready to finish the last topic so let's increase the like number yaar at least make it 500 what are you doing let's make it 500 ha huh? let's make it 500 and even increase the live viewers and you know na you know monday monday at 11 am we will be having what the special class it is free of cost it is on an academy platform and you people need to use this coupon code okay this coupon code and you will be the part of this so let's practice the question and moreover i'll be start i have started the revision classes also at 1 pm so the cell chapter it is the cell chapter that we are going to start first then biomolecule then cell cycle and cell division okay done so see the question practice of this session right monday morning 11 am question practice of this session on an academy platform clear chalo come back to the topic so see stis or rtis they are also known as rtis means reproductive tract infection what are they they are reproductive tract infection okay so they are also known as venereal diseases they are also known as sexually transmitted infections so yes you need to remember their another name also that is venereal diseases now which these diseases are bacterial as well they are uh, bacterial as well they are viral as well they are protozoan as well so now i will go as per ncrt little beyond ncrt rest we will discuss in human health and disease also in detail so here you can see gonorrhea syphilis genital herpes chlamydiasis genital warts trichomoniasis hepatitis b and of course the most discussed infection in the recent year hiv leading to aids infection is aids acquired immunodeficiency syndrome hiv is the causative agent they all are the most common stis now it is advised that they should not be called as the sexually transmitted disease why because the person having these infections they like it's like a social stigma right people they do not talk they, they are okay in talking about their physical health they are okay if there is problem in their liver if their problem is there is in their back or in their leg but they are not okay to share the mental health issues if they are having or the reproductive uh, reproduction related issues if they are having right people are not comfortable about it and especially the males because it puts a question they think that it puts a question mark over their masculinity so people are not comfortable in discussing these issues in open so just to avoid that stigma instead of disease the word sexually transmitted infection is used also known as reproductive tract infection also known as venereal diseases so that's what you need to remember so these are the most common types of most common types of sti discussed so here you need to remember which one is the right which one is the bacterial which one is the viral and even protozoanal sti is also there i will write the name here that is your trichomoniasis okay which is caused by the protozoan it is caused by protozoan protozoan you know na single celled eukaryotic cell so trichomonas vaginalis it is not written here in ncrt but i am telling you it is there in human health and disease okay so that is a protozoanal right what type of disease it is it's a protozoanal disease it's a protozoanal disease so trichomonas vaginalis so it is trichomoniasis okay okay so gonorrhea syphilis chlamydiasis they are bacterial okay so you should know about their causative agents as well just say i'll come to the uh, 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 where is that image okay that image is not there okay so i am okay see this right so the gonorrhea caused by nizeria gonorrhea so bache you should know that you should remember that i'm writing it here gonorrhea your syphilis your chlamydia right chlamydia they are or chlamydiasis they are what they are the bacterial stis what type of stis they are they are bacterial sti so gonorrhea is caused by nizeria please write down nizeria gonorrhea it is caused by nizeria gonorrhea syphilis is caused by treponema pallidum please write down and please mention the names in the chat section also treponema 
pallidum then comes the chlamydiasis it is caused by chlamydia yes it is caused by chlamydia trachomatis right chlamydia trachomatis so these are the bacterial sti these are the bacterial sti are you getting it thank you bachche saucy these are the bacterial sti's clear bachche so trichomoniasis as i said trichomoniasis as i said it is a protozoanal sti means it is caused by a protozoan then bachche genital herpes right genital wart even aids even aids they are the viral sti's they are the viral stis please mention it in the chat section they are the viral stis clear bachche clear bachche so genital herpes is caused by herpes simplex virus right your genital warts it is caused by human papilloma virus the aids acquired immunodeficiency syndrome is caused by hiv human immunodeficiency virus where immune system is not functional human immunodeficiency virus clear bachche clear bachche so come to this ncrt part that hepatitis b and hepatitis c hepatitis b and hiv human immunodeficiency virus they can also be transmitted by sharing of injection needles surgical instrument with infected person transfusion of blood or from the infected mother to fetus so always remember when you are talking about these stis they are sexually transmitted infection so if there is unprotected sexual intercourse between two people or if let's say there are multiple partner if one is infected it it is going to infect many that's why it is avoid it is advised not to have unprotected sexual intercourse because it can result in these infection it can spread infection from one person to another right so whenever these body fluids they come in contact they can transmit this pathogen this is the first thing right and because of multiple partners also this disease can spread hiv is one of the best examples when we talk about such diseases so here it is as per ncrt so mcq can come from this part hepatitis b and hiv they can they sexually also right because of sexual contact also they will transmit but other than that by sharing injections because blood contact is there by sharing needle surgical instrument also they can spread that's what you need to remember so except for hepatitis b except for hepatitis b genital herpes and hiv infections other diseases are completely curable right sorry my bad except for hepatitis b genital herpes and hiv infection these three where that h is there right these three where that h is there hepatitis b genital herpes hiv infection these are not completely curable another important mcq right it is another important mcq these diseases are not completely curable got it these diseases are not completely curable this is another important mcq these three G hepatitis b genital herpes and hiv infection they are not completely curable if detected early and treated right but others are uh, completely curable if detected and treated properly so that's what you need to remember so early symptoms of these disease they include the itching fluid discharge from genitals pain in genital area swellings right infected female can also be asymptomatic for long time so it can remain undetected so complications may it includes pid pelvic inflammatory disease it can result in stillbirth means that baby right that baby is death at the time of birth okay so see abortions can occur stillbirths can be there ectopic pregnancy what is the meaning of ectopic pregnancy when implantation is it is it is at any place other than uterus when implantation is at any place other than uterus okay infertility can also be there cancer can also occur because of these stis if they are left untreated so if there is any issue one should consult the doctor right and how to avoid it to avoid sex with unknown partners always try to use the condom during coitus in case if there is a doubt go to the qualified doctor that's how it can be treated clear bachche that's how so a hiv you know that in detail we will be discussing it in we will be discussing it in yes human health and disease and one more thing just have a look gonorrhea it also affects the eyes it also affect the eyes it can also transfer from infected mother to the baby remember 
right hiv can also transfer from infected uh, from pregnant mother to her baby right even gonorrhea can transfer so see in the case of males abdominal pain pain during intercourse right can be there in both the genders and in the case of female vaginal discharge will be there right discharge from penis can occur swollen testicles burning sensation with urination right that can occur so see most common symptoms here urethra or tube that drains urine from blood there will be the itching there in the eyes there can be issues throat vagina anus they can get affected right in the case of females i'm telling you okay bache so these stis they are very common among the people right of this age fine and chlamydiasis is very common among the teenagers chlamydiasis is very common among the teenagers so that's your homework you will read about it chlamydiasis right it's very common among teenagers okay okay that's why sex education is important that's why the use of contraceptive method is important that's why it is advised not to have multiple partners so here you can see possible symptoms urgency great frequency of urination pus like discharge from the penis can be there in males discoloration and swelling at the penis opening testicular swelling or pain itching and soreness in the anus rectal bleeding can also occur and in the case of females right vaginal discharge pain or burning while urinating urge to urinate more frequently heavier periods of spotting between periods pain during vaginal sex sharp pain in the lower abdomen so see these are the symptoms these are the symptoms now when you are talking about the syphilis syphilis is caused by please write down the name of the causative agent in the chat section please write down the name of the causative agent in the chat section that's treponema pallidum syphilis that's treponema pallidum that's treponema pallidum so it occurs in stages stage 1 3 to 9 days after exposure the sores will be there stage 2 4 to 10 weeks after initial infection body rashes can occur right stage 3 3 to 15 years after infection uh, after uh, in initial infection so it can result in injury of that internal organs as well so this is about the syphilis so syphilis used to affect in uh, stages right it used to affect in stages okay so chlamydia right so chlamydia remember remember so in males urethritis is the principal result of chlamydia clear gonorrhea right gonorrhea or clap okay bachche so remember uh, so it is from the discharge from infected mucous membrane right right and during passage of newborn through the burn can a uh, birth canal so gonorrhea can also affect that newborn right not through placenta not through placenta but when there is a when there is the passage of that baby from birth canal na so gonorrhea gonorrhea can be there to that baby clear bachche okay so it can also affect the eyes it can also affect the eyes fine so eye infection can also be there so syphilis i told you it is having stages primary secondary tertiary so in primary stage the sores will be there these sores are known as it is a pyq okay in the primary stage the sores are there these sores are known as cankers remember so syphilis is a disease in which cankers will occur the sores will occur so this is a this is something important it is an important mcq okay it is an important mcq done bachche done so you should remember the causative agents here the symptoms in detail will be discussed in human health and disease these are extra symptoms but whatever is given in ncert we have covered that okay we have covered that so right after the class i will share the pdf in the telegram group but do you know what you have to do do you know what you have to do after the class guys do you like appreciation i think all of you like it hai na hai na you like the appreciation na when your parents they compliment you right when your teachers compliment you when your fellow mates compliment you that you are doing good in your life you are doing this you are doing that hai na you like it you love it so same way we teachers are also hungry for the appreciation at least i am hungry right i don't know about others i am hungry so if you like the session if you if you consider that this session is really important right we have covered each and every line from ncert we have covered each and every concept from ncert so i really want to see the comments in the comment section it will hardly take your 15 seconds or 20 seconds or even let's say it will hardly take 1 minute 
to write a good comment not here right after the class in the comment section when the session will be added in the comment se section i really want your comments if you really like the session so right now i have 154 students so i think i deserve that 154 comments what say guys 163 students 163 comments okay so i'll share the pdf in our unacademy neat english group so remember guys there will be the there will be the special class where we will be discussing the mcqs right it will be there on monday at 11 am and bachcha log this is the coupon code that you people can use to join my class and moreover be ready for our chennai visit be ready for our Chennai visit. So you know what you have to do. Just fill up the form there. So not here. After the class in the comment section, I need your comments. So take care. Bye-bye. Thank you so much, guys. So yes, you know, Nana, next chapter. The next chapter. Okay. The next chapter is fine so yeah do watch this video score 360 out of 360 in biology so next chapter is your evolution that will be on 20th december fine that will be on 20th december take care so take care do watch this session and if you didn't revise the human reproduction do revise it as well so bye bye take care thank you so much for watching